Hey guys, welcome to Pickburg. Uh, thank you for joining us for this pop-up auction today. Uh, my name's Anthony, and with me is my buddy Justin Jacobs. Uh, if you guys don't know Justin, he's been doing a lot of uh, local, well, not local, but YouTube auctions in our community lately. Um, glad that everyone that's here is able to join us. Um, what's up, Derek? NASCAR Man 3345. We have Misha Renee in the house. Uh, thank you for sharing it on Facebook, Misha. I appreciate it. Uh, Brad Bars in the Heezy Fo Sheezy. We got Alexis in the house. Uh, Shane M. Eric Bischoff. What is up, my dude? We have uh, Steampunk Town. Uh, DC Sales, the master of the license plate. Jameson's Closet's with us. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, Justin, you want to introduce yourself while we wait for a few people to roll in? Uh, sure. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm a little sick, so hopefully uh, you can hear me. Huh, Jimmy? Just uh, Justin Jacobs. I uh, just sell on eBay. Just started cross post some stuff to Macari. Um, just going to do a part time. Uh, still learning, learning everything, and I uh, just trying to get rid of stuff. So just trying to sell. Yeah. I hear you there, dude. That's the goal for all of us is to get rid of all this crap that we're hoarding at our houses. Uh, Calcivania resellers in the house. What's going on? Just shot a teaser video of two storage auctions. Awesome. Yeah, I'm going to be uh, hopefully getting a storage auction tomorrow morning. Um, so it, it ends in the morning at least. So hopefully I'll be able to pick something up. Uh, Misha says she loves the stuff we got from you, Justin. Thank That's you, awesome. Misha. I'm glad. Uh, Keevan's in the house. What's up, Keevan Crawley? Good to see you, man. So, yeah, we're going to get uh, going here. Uh, but in order to bid, what I need you guys to do um, is to send an email to myself or to Justin. Um, my email is right there on screen. This is Justin's email as well. So uh, make sure that uh, if you do win – you make sure you email us right away with uh, the item you won and, you know, the name of the lot, how much it was, all that stuff. So we'd appreciate that. Um, I am going to let Justin go first. Uh, hopefully we'll get a few more people in here. If you guys don't mind, share this out. Uh, this was just like a random pop-up because this is the only time I could do it for Justin uh, before I leave for vacation next week. So, um Okay, I can start calling you Mel then, rather than Calcivania. For sure. Hey, what's up, Crystal? Rosie's Closet's in the house. Yeah, I appreciate all you guys that have shared this out already, but anybody else that hasn't, you could help us get a few more people in here for Justin. I want to see him get some, uh, you know, some money for Christmas. I appreciate that. So yeah, whenever you, whenever you're ready, man, you can go ahead and start with the first. Let's we'll start, we'll start with this. It's a uh, 1998. It's hot. It's a Hot Wheels holder. Let me make you larger. So it's a it's a Hot Wheels box from uh, 1998. Um, it's got some cars in there. Let's open it up. Maybe. I'll pull the cars out and show you, but that's old. It holds six cars. We're gonna start this at uh, ten dollars shipped. Um, must it's got a Mustang convertible. Does it have a year on it? Um, the Mustang is nineteen eighty three. Okay, nineteen eighty three convertible. So is the whole thing vintage? Um, I'm, I'm honestly, I want to say yes. I think I'll put one car in here that may not be. Mm -hmm. Um, this Reese's convertible. That's cool. Is 1990. So, let's see. There's another, um, nine, 19, is it normal date 1968? It's a, I mean, I don't know it's a Mustang, but I'm not sure what the production year is. But 
made in Thailand. So, um, there's a this one's been played with. This is Road Champs, but I can't make out a date. It's definitely been loved, but pretty cool car. All right. So anybody want to get us started off at ten dollars free shipping on this? And then here's it. Here, here's the everybody's got to know this car. General Lee. Okay, that's what's up, man. It says Warner Brothers, nineteen eighty one. If we have ten dollars right now uh, by Misha Renee. Does anybody want to go twelve dollars on this? Thank you, Misha. And then here's a um, uh, Chevrolet. I don't know my cars, but I know Derek does, and Anthony you probably do too. I know it's a Chevrolet, but it's a. Um, it almost looks like a '57 Chevy. It says it's a, a night. Well, it says on the bottom '1978 Hot Wheels. So, mm -hmm. does it have a model or anything on there? Um, no, this one. It, it just says Hot Wheels and then Malaysia and 19. I can't read it, but yeah, it doesn't have the actual model. But it's pretty cool. It's kind of just speckled paint. <clears throat> so yeah, the six six cars in the box. The box again is from um, 98, ten dollars shipped. Um, what we got? Misha ten. Yep, we still got Misha at 10. Anyone? We, we can go 12. Do what? Anthony, I'm sorry. I was asking if anybody wanted to go 12 on it. It'll be free shipping to your door. Got some nice vintage cars in there. If, um, if I'll invoice after the auction, and I'll if you pay tonight, I'll get it shipped out first thing tomorrow. Derek, if you're still in the chat, if you have any information on any of those cars, it'd be awesome if you would... Um, you know, let us know like any kind of value or anything like that. Um, but we're going to go once right now on this for $10 to Misha Renee. Hey, good luck with your units there, uh, Mel. Appreciate you stopping in. Yeah, that Duke's car is, is awesome. All right, guys, we're going to go twice to uh, Misha Renee. Last chance, anybody interested in this um, set of Hot Wheels? There's six cars. All of them are vintage. There's a uh, Reese's car in there, a Dukes of Hazard car in there. Comes with a nice case. Right, we are sold to Misha for $10. Thank you, Misha. So we are on me now. I'm going to throw up a lot. Um, most of the stuff I have is going to be like reseller related stuff. Um, so I'm going to start this off at $25 free shipping. This is a stack of 50 different comic books, all various, um, you know, authors, brands, whatever you want to call them. Um, but I'll, sh I'll show them off to you guys. This is going to have free shipping on it. So it's Kelvin Mace, Stormwatch, Honor Number One, Rise Number One. I guess I should probably give you the uh, numbers of what the comics are if it says on here. Doesn't say on this one. Okay, so this one's a number two. This one is Infinity Man and the Forever People, the new 52 DC Comics. And this is comic number number seven. We have PSI Force, comic number... 
to Marvel. Doesn't act. I can't find where it says what comic number it is. You guys are interested in the comic numbers. Just let me know if you're not. I'm not gonna bore you with it. Uh, we have Race Warrior. Again, this is twenty five dollars. Does anyone want to get us started? Uh, another one of these Infinity Man and the Forever People. Uh, this is a gratitude Batman appearance. Uh, what years? They're all different years. So let me uh, get you some years here. This one doesn't have it on the front. Um, this one just says March. Uh, it looks like 92 or yeah, this one's 92. So we got we got 90s all the way up to like current day. Um, guessing the years are probably on the back of most of these. But like this one right here, this is from 2014. So we have everything from the 90s all the way up till today. It's a good mix of stuff. Um, this one, January 27th, what year? I'll just open them up, see if it's on. The, it'll probably be on the back. I just didn't want to. These are so nicely packed. A lot of these don't even look like they've been read. It's starting at $25, D, and there's a total of 50 of them. Okay, so this is uh, January uh, issue number 27 of 1989. So, yeah, I guess we even have some going back to the 80s. So it's just a, it's just a good mix of a little bit of everything here. Most of them are like Marvel or DC, that type of stuff. Next one I have is called Talon. This is the new 52, and this is from 2014. This one is Who Are the Mystery Men? And if I can find a date on the cover, I'll let you guys know. This one doesn't have a date on the cover. So it's $2.99, though, so it's probably a newer one, probably within the last decade. Um, here's Ultraverse Brune. Issue number nine. Any unicorns? Not that I know of. Um, another Ultraverse rune. Lar fleas. A lot. Of, a lot of these I don't really know much about. Um, the only comics I really have experience with are like the like mainstream Marvel and DC characters. This is Noble Causes. This one is the Liberty Project. Psycho Blast. PSI Force. Another one of these. I believe the other one was from the 80s. So I'm guessing that's probably the same time frame. Infinity Men and the Forever People. It's another one that has a Batman appearance. Actually, I have two of those. I think this is the Devil Devilers. Infinity Man and the Forever People, again, different one. Blood Heart, Blood is the Harvest. It's another older one. What's up, James? Parts Unknown. Again, guys, these are twenty five dollars, free shipping. Lar Fleas. Okay, so. Derek says, hi, all. Some of them are good. The artist on the cover is important. So I, I can give you artist names if it's on here. Like, for example, this is Clarion. Um, I, I actually haven't comped any of these, to be honest with you. It's from 2015. It's Nocenti, Florentino, uh, Kredansky, and, and Mayer on that one. Another copy of The Devilers. And uh, let's see if I can get the. This is Joshua Hale Falakov and Matt Triano, it's issue number five. Um, here's the Law Living Assault Weapon. And the illustrator Bob Layton and Dio G Giadorno. The Wanderer. Wanderers, I should say. Um, this is January 1989. This is issue 10. And this is by Moench, 
Hoover and Campanella. It's DC Comics. Uh, this one is the New America. This is from 1987. The illustrator is T. Yates. That's by, uh, I'm pretty sure it's from DC as well. Uh, here's another DC one. This is from February 2015. This is the Clarion again. And again, if, if no one's interested, just go ahead and put pass. Um, but like I said, there is 50 of them, $25 free shipping. Uh, this one is Crimson by Augustine, Ramos, and Hope. What's up, Swift Seller? Thanks for joining us. I think this is Journey by Qual, Pantella, uh, Brett Smith, and Josh Reed. However that's pronounced. We got 25 to Misha Renee. Does anyone want to go 27? Uh, here's a copy of Masquerade. The illustrator on this one. Doesn't really say. It just says Dynamite number four. What's up, Itching to Scratch UK? Thanks for jumping in. Yeah, the, the bags and the cardboard are on every single issue, so these are all in, like, really good shape. What's up, Craig? Good to see you, man. Derek says that the bags and the cardboard is worth that. Um, so this is Princeless, and it's by – this is issue number eight. Doesn't actually – okay, Whitney, Higgins, and Brandt are the illustrators on that. Warlord of Mars. And – this looks like a newer one as well. Just says mature. I don't think it's like porn or nothing like that. But Jusco is the illustrator on this one. I think it's from 2011. Uh, Death, the Death Defying Devil. And this is not issue number three by Fayardo. So we're still at 25 to Misha. Uh, the next one is Airboy and the comic, the Woke, uh, W-O-C-H. This is from 1986, Airboy. This one is Samurai Son of Death by Sharman Devono and Hiroshi Hirata. I've heard of Hirata before. Not entirely sure what he, uh, what else he makes besides that. Uh, this is Swords of Sorrow by Red Sonia and Jungle Girl. And that's by A. Valetto. We have Lady Demon, which is looks to be a newer one. Oh, yeah, 2014. This is from uh, Joyce Juan Nunes. This is Kaboom Summer Blast. It has like uh, Garfield, Snoopy, Adventure Time, like all those different types of stuff on it. Uh, Legion of Superheroes. This is by Payer, McCraw, Motor, Boyd, and Jurassi. 1997, issue 8. Uh, laser eraser and I don't even know what that other word is. This is by doesn't actually say who writes it. It's Eclipse Comics. Um, this is issue number one, so that's good. Um, and it must be old because it says seventy-five cents on it. Most of the newer ones are like two ninety-nine or three ninety-nine. Uh, this is X Farce. Um, this is by Moss, 1991. The Legionaries. This is. Okay, there's a little sticker on it that says Cover Tour. Where you can kind of see right there by his armpit, there's like a little tear in the cover. But other than that, it looks like it's in decent shape. Um, this is from June 1993. and I don't really see an illustrator on here. This is a DC comic. OK, 
Okay, this is Bloodshot. This is issue number five. And it's by Perlin. Not Perlini, but Perlin. This is Quantum something. I can't make out the word behind the guy. Uh, this is issue number seven. I don't see an illustrator signature. Oh, okay, up top. James Asmus, Ming Doyle, and Jordi Belair. This is Robert Jordan uh, is the illustrator on this one, and it's called The Wheel of Time. And I'm not seeing a date offhand. Looks pretty cool, though. We have this one called Cypress Perkins and the Haunted Taxi Cab. This is by Dewonch Lenshoni. And the last one is by Michael Turner, and it's called Fathom Dawn of War Zero. And let me see if there's a date. I'm not seeing a date. Um, it is JT Kroll is the main illustrator. So we're at $25 for all 50 of these. Uh, right now, Misha Renee is the lead bidder. Anybody else want to come in at 27 If not, we're going to go once on these to Misha. As you can see, there's a huge variety of date ranges all the way from new stuff of today going all the way back to the 80s on these. We're going to go twice right now to Misha for $25. Anybody else want to get in on the action for 27 All right, last and final chance. We are officially sold to Misha Renee for $25. Thank you very much, Misha. I appreciate it. Go back to Justin for his next lot. All right. I've got a... 15 car gift set Hot Wheels. Um, start this at ten dollars shipped. That looks pretty cool. Is that brand new? Sealed? Yeah, it's sealed. I'm sorry, it is sealed. There is a little bit of box damage. So. I mean, it's just from being stored, I think, and being shuffled around. But it's, it's unopened. Okay. And you said it was $15 shipped? $10 shipped. $10 shipped. Even better. Okay. That's a great deal, man. Does anybody want to get us started off at $10 with free shipping on this? And it comes with 15 cars, so right off the bat, you're getting five extra cars than you are per dollars, you know? And you get a, you get a special upside down car. <laughs> How about that? You even get like that. That's probably a factory error. So that probably makes it a little more valuable. Um, the, I'm looking for a date on the back. We got ten dollars to Jameson's closet. Okay, Derek says there's a golf car in there. Oh, he said there's a car you can use as a T. That's cool. See if we can find it. Those are pretty cool. What's up, Philly Picker? Good to see you, man. Uh, you can just bid. Anybody that's in here, you can just feel free to bid. And the winner just needs to email Justin or I. We're at $10 right now. Uh, There's 15 cars, brand new sealed. Anybody want to go 12 on that? The year on the box is 2000. Okay. So they're reasonably old, 19 years old. They're not too old, but old enough. Okay, so Derek says the golf part in there you can actually use as a tee if you wanted to play golf off of it, which is pretty cool. Thanks for that info, Derek. I appreciate it. Oh, I uh, see that. Derek, if you want to come in with us, man, you can feel free to. 
Yeah, please do. Link. Yeah, you know more about this stuff than we do rather than keep asking you. Let me, let me get a link, Derek. I'll drop it in the chat for you. If you can, Cole, if you can, that's fine too. Again, $10 shipped, and I'll get it shipped out tomorrow. I'll invoice after the auction as long as you send me your info, and I'll get it sent off first thing in the morning. All right, so we got Derek popping in now. Bring him up here. Hey, guys. What's up, Derek? Not much, bud. Yeah, there's some really fast cars in there. There's uh, the the blue car that's all the way to the right. It's a 40 uh, fat fended Ford. If you guys race like we do on my channel, um, that car is super fast on all tracks. Um, the golf cart, like I said, yeah, the blue one, yep. And the golf cart on the top with the um, the the, the uh, engine um, foil, the filter goes. It's nubbed, so you can actually put a uh, golf ball on the top there and hit off of it. That's pretty cool. That's that's sweet. Uh, Misha says in the chat that she can attest that Justin is a super fast shipper. Yep. Yeah. Justin's the man. Um, and that car underneath the golf, underneath the golf cart, that is called the one of the original Zamax. That does not have any paint on that car. So yeah. I started doing that. Yep. Oh, it really doesn't. I just noticed that. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Yep. Huh. If you guys don't know yet, Derek also does a uh, auction on Monday nights, seven p.m. Yep. If you guys are interested in these type of things, make sure you check out his auction. I know from time to time I'm also on there uh, selling stuff. Justin goes on there and a lot of other people throughout the community. Hey, what's up, Reselling Addict? How are you doing? So right now we're going uh, twice to Jameson's Closet for $10. If you guys are interested in this, you're going to have to uh, bid at least $12. Uh, it is free shipping on this item. You get you get a, there's a poster in there too, guys. Just so you know. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So right now it's uh, fifteen cars for ten dollars. Oh, yeah, ever is special. It says right there. Mm -hmm. Huh? Derek knows the stuff because I don't even notice that, and it's right in front of my face. <laughs> yep, that and uh, that because that being rare, because you have some errors where one car is backwards and one car is upside down. So they just pack those right in there and then send them off. So that's pretty cool when that happens. That's awesome. This is going to be the last. And if you're interested, uh, please go ahead and um, bid $12. If not, we're going to go ahead and uh, call this one to Jameson's Closet. All right, guys, we're sold for ten dollars to uh, Jameson's Closet. Thank you so much. Good, good for bidding. Thank you, Derek. If you have any lots you want to throw up, man, you can feel free to grab them. I'm just going through the stuff now behind me. <laughs> I got, I got plush. I have plush. I'm sure you do. You probably have a little bit of everything. Yeah, literally. I've been stringing things out. All right, so. Dennis Dew's not in the house yet, is he? I put together a lot just for Dennis. Yeah, he, uh, I don't know if something's. I haven't seen. I haven't seen Dennis in a while. He wasn't in our, on our auction on Monday night either. Yeah, I was. Um, I was talking with him a little bit yesterday. So yeah. Speaking of plush, I'll just do some plush right now. Hey. Um, so first item that's in this plush lot, uh, it's a it's an Easter bunny, still brand new with the tag. Got like uh, pastel colors on its belly and everything. I know we're at the wrong season for him, but you never know. Come come next season, you could certainly sell them or give them to somebody. I have a my first Christmas teddy bear. This is a Dandy, and Dandy is uh, one of the uh, one of the brands that sell pretty good. Yeah, yeah. And this is yeah, I will sell him. Uh, next, I have a Mexican teddy bear. 
or Ty Beanie, uh, Beanie Baby Bear. Yeah. And this has like a little protector on the tag. His name is Osito. And this is one of the, I don't know if it makes a difference, but he has a hologram tag. That's the old, that's the later versions of them. Okay. Have a hologram. Yeah, let me see if it has a year even. It doesn't have a year, but so we have him. Uh, by the way, this is starting at $10 free shipping. I forgot to mention that. So if you guys are interested, uh, this is a Mickey Mouse puppet. My hand is massive, so I'm probably not going to do it justice, but. It, it I know I'm great great on your head, so. My fingertips are in there. <laughs> Head rocker. Let's bring that to Disney with you and walk around. People be freaked out. Uh, next one. This is another Disney. Uh, this is a flush of. Nate just looked this dude up for me the other day. Um, it's it's Simba's son, whatever his name is, from the Lion King. Oh yeah. Um... But this is an official Disney plush. This one's cool. This is, it still has a tag on it. Uh, you can tell it's used. Um, mm -hmm. It probably needs a good lint, a, a lint dusting on it. It's got a few little hairs on it. You but, were just uh, going to say lick. And was, that's not a video game. Well, I guess, I guess you could give it a licking if you want to, but <laughs> Lord knows where this thing's been. Um, he's he's lived here in my basement for like probably the last six months. But this is uh, Tails from Sonic the Hedgehog. It's mm. got the official Sonic the Hedgehog tag on it, cool. and uh, that tag too. So it's pretty cool. Again, we're starting this at uh, ten dollars. If anybody's interested, I have a zebra here that says "I love you." Has a tag on it still. Be my Valentine, and the cool thing about this one is it's also a dandy, which dandy does good. And then I got this thing, which is pretty cool. Um, I didn't check them though for batteries or whatnot yet. I think I think the batteries are dead, but it says "Who loves you, baby," and I think it's a hippopotamus or something like that. Some kind of an animal it says who loves you. Cut like uh, the butt that unzippers so you can put batteries in them. But I probably should have put batteries in it for you guys. Let's see. Let me see if it takes a screwdriver. A lot of those, a lot of, a lot of people like it that. Take a screwdriver, or else I would have popped batteries in for you guys right now. I don't feel like going to get a screwdriver. So we're at ten dollars, guys. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I had eight in here. Oh yeah, we do have eight in here. So eight of these plush for ten dollars free shipping. Anyone's interested, go ahead and just uh, put a ten in the chat. If you're not, just go ahead and give me a few passes so we can go on to the next item. Ten dollars or a couple passes. Thank you, Shane. We can get it ten dollars or another pass. We can go ahead and move on to something else. Reselling addicts, thank you very much. Oh, we got it. We actually got a bid there from Diane Matthews. There you go. So uh, ten dollars to Diane Matthews. Does anyone want to go twelve? I'm going to go going once on that right now. All right, we're going to go uh, twice to Diane Matthews at $10 free shipping on the plush. Anybody want to go $12? This is the last and final call. All right, guys, so we are going to be sold to Diane Matthews for $10. Thank you, Diane. I really appreciate your business. I'll be getting those out in the mail to you real soon. And we're back on Justin. If you would send me an email with your 
information, Diane, and I'll go ahead and send you an invoice after the auction. All right. Who's ready for some nostalgia? Oh, I am. <laughs> so I have a small lot of pogs. Uh, what's up? You got any slammers in there? Do you want to? You got any slammers? Um, it's been so long. I don't slammers are the hard ones you throw down. Yeah, on. Well, these are plastic. They're not metal, but they're a little thicker. Yeah, yeah, those are slammers. Yeah, there's no metal ones though. I do remember the big heavy metal ones. I was like in second grade when I remember playing with these. I used to have an OJ Simpson slammer. One side it said guilty, the other side it said not guilty. Uh, <laughs> But there's a case, and then there's um, 88 total. And so the this is full. Um, I'll, I'll show some. But yeah. Definitely, yeah, when I come across these, I was like, brought back some memories. It's just a random, just a, um, sorry. Okay. Just a random, uh, much random. Do you have any idea how many are in there? There's the 88 total, and then and then the case 88 total, and then case. And um, we started at 15. Okay, yeah, 15 shipped. All right, guys, so we're starting at 15 dollars plus free shipping. Um, Derek, if you want to, man, you can feel free to be the auctioneer since I know that's your thing. But if you don't want to, that's cool too. That's fine. You're doing uh, perfect, Anthony. All right. I just figured I'd, I'd offer since it's your expertise. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll I'll chime in when I when I need to. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> There's no interest. Just pass. Is that Jordan wearing the forty-five? Yep. Nice. Yep. There's there's a few Jordans in here. Is that Mickey Mouse? Felix the Cat. Oh, okay. I was going to say it almost looked like Mickey Mouse on meth. <laughs> <laughs> Who the so, heck is that? <laughs> yeah, that's um, uh, Little Rascals. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. That's um, uh, Carla. Is it Carla? I think so. So we have one pass by reselling addicts. Get another couple passes. We'll go ahead and move on to the next item. There's a bunch, language. There's a bunch of Power Rangers in uh, here. Uh, you're killing me, dude. I'm trying to make money, not spend it. Uh, <laughs> there is a bunch of Power Rangers. Darla. That was it. I Carla, Darla. I knew it was something. Okay, we got another pass by Misha. One more pass, and we'll move on, guys. Okay, we got the last pass by Jameson's Closet. So we'll go on to the next. All right, Dennis Dude needs to hurry up and get here because I want to put up these video games. Mm -hmm. well, I have some more plush if you want. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's, let's start up a NASCAR lot real quick then. Hey, guys. <laughs> so I have a bag of plush here that I'm going to put up. Um, anybody knows this? This is a Precious Moments doll. So, missing the tag, but I know these things were ex very expensive when they came out. When do you want to start it at, Derek? Uh, Ten dollars shit. Okay, great price. So we're gonna start this off at ten dollars. We got a dandy, really cute, funny. Yeah, really dandy cute. sells well too. Yeah. That's one of the brands I always pick up when I see the Goodwill or the bins or wherever I'm sourcing. I know these are really, really good. This is Ephalump. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that from oh. uh, Winnie the Pooh? Is that the Ephalump or whatever? Elephumps. No, this is Elephumps. Oh, okay. These uh, things really did really well in the late 80s, early 90s. So you get the elephant. You have a an older Disney... Winnie the Pooh. Awesome. <laughs> you can tell that one's more retro. And then we have... Are you tickling Elmo? <laughs> yeah, tickle me Elmo, guys. I sold like three or four of those on eBay in the last year. 
These so things those still those sell. Remember when these things were like the three hundred dollars for a while? Yeah, when you couldn't find them. Yep. Yep. So here's one that you guys can get. Then I have a cute little. It's another dandy, another cute little bunny. Dandy still has tags. And then. <laughs> That's cool. Mater. He squeezes. I don't, oh, there he goes. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> and then the last one is my first teddy made by Russ. Big teddy bear. Big, really soft. Precious. We have $10 to meet your Renee right now. Cool. Anybody want to go 12 on these? Um, honestly, the Elmo is probably worth it right there. You know, exactly. the fact you get the free shipping on it. Yep. Go Elmo and the rest is gravy, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> or you can just sit around and tickle them all day. Uh, no. That's why I want them out of the house. <laughs> Too much tickling of Elmo? And then I get this thing going off all the time. <laughs> um, one thing I forgot to mention in the beginning, too, is with uh, every lot you guys buy, Okay, cool. Dennis is in the house. I'll throw up the games next, man. Uh, with every lot you guys buy for me, I'm going to be including a uh, Pittsburgh sticker for free. And nice. I'm also going to be including a uh, card, like a handwritten note on one of my cards. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I know Derek has cards and stuff, too. And yep. last time I've gotten some from him, he did have a handwritten note in there on his card. So yep. you can expect to get that in this lot as well. Um, so... Uh, we're still at $10 by Misha. We're going to go once on that. Anybody want to go 12? I hear a lot of Elmo chuckling over at Misha's house. Somebody don't play another day. I feel like a dog drip on the shreds. <laughs> Thanks, Jenny. I appreciate that. I appreciate you uh, giving me the idea to put those on eBay earlier, too. That was really cool of you. <laughs> she says you're not cool unless you have one. There you go. Cool, unless you're a reselling addict. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're going to spread that plague throughout the entire community. Uh, we're going to go twice right now to Misha Renee. If anybody's interested uh, in getting these plush from Derek, go ahead and uh, throw a um, bid in the chat, and we will hook you up with some plush. All right, this guys. Is final call on the plush. Yeah. Go ahead. For ten dollars right now to Misha Renee. I will be going live twice tomorrow, just so you know. Um, I'm trying to go over to a jewelry uh, sale that happens every year around Christmas. Uh, it has Trafari, Monet, and all that kind of stuff. So I'll be going live in there to check out what they have, so you guys can see that. So, um, and then around. Two o'clock tomorrow afternoon, two, three o'clock, I'm going to do a uh, die cast, uh, little quick uh, pop up auction myself. Nice. So I have a lot of Hot Wheels going up, loose and carded. So awesome. All right, guys. So we're going to call this one sold to, uh, I believe, Misha Renee for $10. Thank you, Misha. And uh, we'll just need your email, Derek, if you can pop it in the chat. Yep. Or, yep. or you can invoice her. I can't get down there. Okay. So it's time for a Dennis do lot. There you go. Put this together just for you, Dennis, because I knew you'd be popping in. All right. So this is, let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13 games, uh, different systems. So the first one is Iron Man on the Nintendo DS, uh, cartridge only. Uh, we're going to start these at $25 free shipping. Uh, the next one is Minute to Win It on the Nintendo DS. Dragon Ball Z on the Nintendo... Game Boy Advance. And we have Metroid Prime 3 for the Wii. Really cool game. These all work and have been tested, by the way. 
Yeah, you'll get a sticker with your comics, Misha. Everybody that orders everything today. So, so far, Misha's getting a sticker and Diane's getting a sticker. And whoever orders this will get a sticker. Probably Dennis, too. Uh, then we have Far Cry 2 for the PlayStation 3. L.A. Noir for the PlayStation 3. These are all really good titles. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops for the PlayStation 3. Skyrim for the PlayStation 3. That's a good one. Yep. This is one of my favorite games of all time right here. Diablo 3 mm -hmm. for the PlayStation 3. If you can if you can get through it. <laughs> I beat it like six or seven times. Did please. you? Yeah. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 for the PlayStation 3. Uh, the, these are all complete, too, outside of the ones that were disc and cartridge only. This one still has the, uh, uh, not the poster, but the uh, map inside of it. Uh, it's 25, Dennis. And then we have uh, Star Wars Battlefront for the Xbox One. This one's awesome. This is the uh, Alt Sonic's Ultimate uh, Genesis Collection for the Xbox 360. Played the heck out of that game. And then we have uh, Monster Hunter 3 for the Wii. Yep. Again, I'll show you guys all the manuals and stuff. So we have 25 to Dennis do right now. Yeah, yeah, they did. Uh, they finally got permission uh, year after they put it on PC that they could do it on a on a uh, uh, console. Yeah, that was the first place I beat it was on the uh, PC, mm -hmm. and then I beat it on the Xbox 360. I beat it on the PS3 and the PS4. I don't think I beat it on the Xbox One yet. All the ones that have cases are all complete. To the best of my knowledge, we'll find out if that's false together. 25 to Dennis. Does anybody want to go 27 on these? Like I said there's 13 games here. So, yeah, everything is complete with the exception of Metroid Prime 3, uh, Dragon Ball Z, Minute to Win It, and Iron Man. So all the other ones are complete. Every single one of these games has been tested and has worked. He beat the whole. Th he beat the whole thing, uh, Jeff. So you have to go through the hell level to beat the whole thing. You, you know, it's funny, D, uh, saying that um, I should start a third channel for gaming. I actually used to have a retro gaming mm -hmm. thing I was doing on this channel, and basically. I got so busy I was, wasn't was able to keep up with it. And then on top of that, this whole COPPA thing came out. So I was like, yeah, I don't know if I want to put that on my main channel. Yep. So, but yeah, I, I still I still love playing games. But there's the uh, 13 of them. Like I said, Dennis Dew is winning right now at $25. Um, some of these have some retail value to them. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to do any comping, you can feel free to. I don't mind. And there's the three up top on top of this here. Three handhelds. So we're going to go once right now to Dennis Do for $25. Anyone want to come in? $27 would be the minimum bid. We go by twos. Yeah, all of these games are great. I've played all of them personally. Believe it or not, these PlayStation 3s actually came from my PS3 collection. I sold my uh, PlayStation 3 a few months ago. And that's just what I have left from it. Yes, exactly. You can't play PS3 games on PS4. That's like... Mm -hmm. Yep. Right, we're going to go twice to Dennis Do on this. Anybody want to come in? This is going to be the last and final chance. If not, we're going to go ahead and call it for Dennis. All right, we're going to go ahead and say that that is sold to Dennis Dew. Okay. We'll go back to Justin. 
Yeah. Okay. This week I'll give you a small amount of crystal chocolate for each other. Okay. Well, it's going to work. I've got a. Oh, can we uh, get a test of payers just at twenty five dollars? A game sound yeah, system for PlayStation Two. Full transparency, I um accidentally bought this, and so I'm just trying to get my money back. Um, new package hasn't been opened. There is a little box damage. I wasn't aware of it, but do I open it? But the corner. But other than that. Um, it's unopened, but it's for the PlayStation 2. Um, and you know, I'm just asking $20 shipped if somebody just wants to buy it for $20 shipped. Okay, so we're looking for $20 free shipping on this, guys. Anybody want to get us started? Looking for either $20 or we're looking for a few passes. Whatever comes first, we will roll with. So this is a sound system for the PlayStation 2. Is, is that still new in box, Justin? Yes, it's still new in the box. Like I said, the only the only part is there's a corner right here. But other than that, it's unopened. It's never been used. It's brand new. Hey, Kathy. Glad you're here. Hey, see you later, D. I appreciate you stopping in. See you, D. In the interest. Okay, we got twenty dollars to Dennis do. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you. Dennis is the man. He is like literally every video game known to man. <laughs> I, unfortunately, I wasn't able to put any um, new lots together, but um, I will have some for next auction. Well, it's still do esque right there. Yeah, it's not really a lot, but yeah. I'm still kind of learning what certain people look for. Dennis is the only one I can remember. Pretty much anything. Yeah. Either game or electronic. Yep. Okay, so we're going once to, for 20 to Dennis. Dude, does anybody want to go 22 on this? Hey, Dolly. Doll. Thanks so much for stopping in. I appreciate you being here. Justin has a... Uh, game sound system for the PlayStation 2 here. Uh, Dennis Dew is going uh, at 20 right now for it. We're looking for $22. <coughs> is everything you need in it? So yep. Looks like there's a good bit of stuff in there. We're going to go twice right now to Dennis Dew. Or do you want to go 22 on this? All right, guys. Last call on this. Just right now it's at $20. Dennis Dew. We're going to call that one sold to Dennis Dew for $20. Thank you, Dennis. I appreciate it. And I will get it out uh, tomorrow. I'll invoice after the auction. All right. Congratulations, Dennis. Next lot. I'm going to do a media lot. I have a bunch of uh, various media items here. Trying to keep them somewhat separated. That would be easier for you guys to see what's what. Um, so half of these Blu-rays I have here are brand new. I have uh, the Marine 3, brand new sealed. I have the Longest Week, brand new sealed. Uh, this is going to start off at uh, $25 free shipping, by the way. Um, I have Parental Guidance, brand new sealed. Uh, then I have Taken 3, brand new and sealed. And then I have these ones that are uh, used but tested and working. Uh, this is the LP Man 2. I have Ninja Apocalypse. Then The Haunting in Connecticut. And I have a bunch of DVDs. 
I have one VHS, which is brand new sealed. This is Bible Man. <laughs> I just saw it. It was so cool. I had to get it. I like nerded out for it. And then I have some of these DVDs are new as well. Uh, this is Living Under God's Blessing, brand new and sealed. Uh, More Than Conqueror. This is brand new and sealed as well. Uh, we have Clerks 2. That one's pre-owned but tested and working. 40-Year-Old Virgin. Um, that is tested and working. Pretty much everything here is tested and working. I'll let you know what's brand new, what's not. Uh, this is the movie 300, which is awesome if you haven't seen it. Um, this one's called Jesus Factor Fiction. Uh, Zach and Miri. Here's another brand new one. This is the Twilight Zone Volume 2. And again, this is uh, starting at $25. Uh, free shipping on this one. Another brand new one. This is called At Jesus' Side. It's a cartoon. Um, another brand new one. This is Wisdom for Changing Times. A lot of these uh, Christian ones sell pretty decent. Um, this one's cool. Boy Meets World. This is the complete second season. Yeah. <laughs> Jenny says this is Sparta. Absolutely. Rush Hour. Another awesome movie. Inception. Another pretty good movie. A little Leo DiCaprio action for you. Talladega Nights. This movie's awesome. Uh, this one's brand new and sealed. This is a cartoon collection series Popeye. So a whole bunch of Popeye episodes and stuff. Uh, then I have this box set of the third season of The O.C. Let's get into some music here. I have Third Day's album Move. Matt Meyer, All the People Said Amen. This one's cool. Michael Jackson ones. It's like all of his like best music. All of his like top hits. And then I have some cassette tapes too. I have uh, Stevie Nicks Wild Heart cassette. And then I have three Elvis Presley cassettes as well. All this stuff has been tested and it all works. So $25 um, free shipping on this one. If you're interested, go ahead and give me a $25. If not, uh, three passes will get us on to the next lot. I'll count what all I have here for you guys. Let's see. We've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirty-one items right here, guys. Twenty-five dollars free shipping. There's seven Blu-rays, one VHS, four cassette tapes, three CDs, and the rest are all DVDs and box sets. So let me show it off. Twenty-five dollars free shipping for everything here. If you're interested, please go ahead and uh, give us a bit of $25. If you're not interested, then just let us know that you want to pass. Three passes, we'll move on to uh, Justin's next item. $25, guys. Anyone want to get us started on this? This is free shipping on this item. Got some pretty good movies in there. Got some good music. $25 to Don Bargain Hunter. Thank you, Don. I appreciate it. Anybody want to go 27 on this? Kathy's excited to see Don, too. Don's the man. Um, see, she just said you're awesome. <laughs> Everybody loved Don the Bargain Hunter. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're at 25. We're going to go once to Don the Bargain Hunter. Does anybody want to come in at $27? So 
So now that we have a bid, guys, we, we can't pass, but we'll go twice right now to Dawn Bargain Hunter. Okay, last and final call. Anybody want to go 27 on these? If not, we're going to call sold to Dawn Bargain Hunter. All right, guys. It is officially sold to Dawn Bargain Hunter for $25. Uh, no, no problem, Jenny. Um, basically, the rules are if, if a if we get three passes, we pass unless there's a bid. If there's a bid, then we have to go to three. Their three count before we pass. Um, so that's sold to Don. Don, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. And we're going to go over to Justin now for his next lot. All right. I have a lot of um, Paul Wills. Um, they're, they're all carded um, in... There's a also, I'll just start from one. So I have a few Paul Wills uh, racing. This one's kind of cool because it's actually, it's a, it's a set, three piece set. What do you want to check this out, Justin? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, 20 shipped. 20 shipped? Okay. Yeah, 20 shipped. So now these are kind of cool. So it's the, these three, Nesquik sponsored. <clears throat> this is a, a Richard Petty truck. A couple short cards. This one's kind of cool. That is pretty cool. X Racer. Uh, one of the variants of the Batmobile. Oh, nice. Hey, what's up, Glenn? Thanks for jumping in. Again, starting at 20 ship, and um, I will get it shipped off tomorrow. I will invoice after the auction. And you pay, and I'll ship first thing. Pack it up tonight and get it shipped off in the morning. This one's cool. Cool. Yeah. Thanks, Kathy. I appreciate it. In the interest. How many do you have there, Justin? Oh, I'm sorry, bro. Um, there's 23 cars. Okay. And then, and then also I have a five pack. Okay, so that would be 28 altogether? Yes. That's considerably cheaper than you would even get these at Walmart. When new cases come in, sometimes you can get them at Walmart for like 90, 94 cents a car. Um, but after a while, the prices go up on the cars because they become harder to find. Um, is, it, is that another Batmobile up top there? No, it's... Uh, oh, yeah, it is. I'm sorry. It's an Batmobile. That's awesome. Yeah, I was gonna say it looks like Batmobile, but I'm thinking I don't remember it being green. That's really cool. Evidently, this one is kind of sought after. I remember Derek saying something about it. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, a, that's a really good deal, guys. There's some resale value in this one. Uh, Twenty dollars free this shipping. One, this one's kind of cool because the front of it um, articulates. I don't know if that's the right word, but you can kind of see it's kind of turned in the card. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is cool. Anybody want to get us started at $20 on these? $20 ship. So. 28 cars total, guys. Oh, that's cool. Is that a bus? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. So you got, you got three variants of the Batmobile in this lot. Oh, nice. I like that one right there. The OG. Twenty dollars right now to Lisa flipping crazy. Thank you, Lisa. That almost looks like the uh, car from uh, Gone in sixty seconds. Yep. Oh yeah. What type of car is that? It is a a charger. The okay. name is the name is Ice Charger. Okay. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And this one may 
I try not to have any. I may have pulled one of these already, but it's a Supra. And then I have a, the five pack of the Insectorides. Or, no, I'm sorry. This one's Creature. This one's Creature Cars. Okay. That's and cool. this one's. Um, yeah, this one isn't. This one's from 2010, so I mean, it's mm -hmm. not not old. So yeah, there's this, and show go for more one more time. Justin says he has three Batmobiles. Is that right, Justin? Yeah, hold on, I'll I'll set them aside. But yeah, there's okay three variants of the Batmobile in this car. The Batmobiles alone could theoretically cover that twenty dollars, in my opinion. I feel the same way, Alexis. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. These are short cards. Twenty-two to Misha Renee. Anybody want to go twenty-four on these? Richard Petty Hotwell's truck. Oh, it's pretty cool. It's got a little. All right, it's got a little decal with it. Have you comped any of these, stuff? What? Have you done any comping on these? No, I have not. Just I'm, not like, dude, man, I'm not. I'm not an expert like Derek is, but I, I definitely see cars in there that are worth like five plus dollars. You know. Uh, right. Well, I did. I did look one of these up, um, and just one of them was like eight dollars. Eight or eight dollars oh, for chicken. Right. Yeah, it sounds like Derek comes here. Sure. Cool. So he might be able to give us a little more insight. But yeah, I mean, just from what I've seen, I, I don't, I don't know cars like Derek does, but I, I know well enough to look and say, okay, is that a five dollar car? Is that a you know, right. dollar car or whatever? Flipping crazy at twenty four. Anybody want to go twenty six on these? Thanks, Lisa. Not done yet. Let me finish showing you. A few star rooms that we haven't seen yet. Here's the um. In this lot, the three variants of the Batmobile. So, there's this one. The green one. And the old school. So, them three are in here. Hey, Misa is out, so we're going to go once to Lisa flipping crazy. Anybody wants to bid, it would be $26. Go by twos. We're going to go twice to Flipping Crazy at $24. Anyone else is interested, let us know. If not, we're going to go to the uh, third and final call on this one. All right, we're sold. $24 to Flipping Crazy. Thanks, thank Lisa. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, Lisa, a lot. So my next lot, let me do some toys. I don't even remember what I have in here. I'll figure it out together. All right. I got like three of these bags full of stuff in here. I'm not entirely sure what's in all of them. I just kind of pulled stuff out of a drawer. This isn't really a toy, but I'm throwing it in anyway. It's like one of those like phone or iPod armbands. Uh, I have a tiny touch tablet. This is by VTech. I have a Fisher Price cell phone. Because all this stuff does work, and you know, in case you guys are wondering. Um, then I have a Fisher Price remote control. I have a Hatchimals, which is like a key ring mystery mini, little plush clip-on clip thing. Um, this is 
this is going to start at uh, fifteen dollars free shipping. By the way, I don't think I mentioned that. Um, I have a sure from McDonald's. It's a Despicable Me. It's like the Minions. I don't know if this is like a hockey puck or what. What this thing is. So it's from Despicable Me Part Three. There's two Minions on there. Uh, I, I think this is Snivy. He's a uh, Pokemon. We'll figure of him. Um, I can't remember if this is from Burger King or what this is from. It's a little bobblehead Goofy. I have a Olaf Pez dispenser. We have fifteen dollars to Ciosa sale. Thank you, Lisa. Appreciate it. If anybody else is interested, uh, go ahead and put um, seventeen in the chat. We have a Sylvester the Cat from Looney Tunes Pez dispenser. I have uh, this in there. This is a magic towel. Um, it's one of the items I got in the mystery box from Derek and the Ghost. Uh, it's a Thor. Avengers magic towel. I guess you put it in water and it turns into a towel. Um, then I'll go into these little bags that I have here. Um, this one just has some action figures in it. So this is a wrestler. I think he's generic because I don't know who he is. Normally I wouldn't know who wrestlers are. So, um, then I got this guy in here. I don't know if he's a wrestler or not. He has a ponytail. This is kind of cool. This is a Hot Wheels action figure. You don't really see action figures too much, but this is like a motocross guy. Um, I'm not really sure what this action figure is from. It's like a dude dressed up like he's going to work or something. He has like work boots on, jeans, a t-shirt, a hat. Uh, this, is, this is pretty cool. This is like a burnt up zombie. I'm not sure if this is from. When Derek gets back, he might be able to tell us a little bit more. So we're still at fifteen dollars to Lisa, aka Ciosa Sales. I'm not sure if this is a Star Wars figure or what the heck this guy is. He's like a little alien looking dude. I don't know what he's from. But he's cool looking. If anyone knows who he is, feel free to put it in the chat. Uh, here's another. Is this Hot Wheels too? I'm pretty sure this is Hot Wheels. It says Honda Racing on it, so I don't know if that's Hot Wheels or what. But this one's older. I'm trying to see if there's a date on him anywhere. He's almost like he almost feels like a GI Joe type figure, but he's a uh, Honda Racing guy. Who the heck is this guy? I don't know if this is a cork or what it is. Derek gets back to be able to pick his brain a little bit. But I think we're still at fifteen dollars to see us sales. Um, I still got two bags of stuff here. This one has animals in it. So this one's a rhinoceros, a large one. For the uh, elephant. So at fifteen dollars to see if it sells. Looking for seventeen. Rhinoceros. This is a I'm guessing a cheetah. Pretty cool. It's like a movable tail and legs and head and stuff. This thing's cool. This is like a uh, spider type thing. And I have one last bag of stuff, and this is like accessories. I don't know if it's like, I don't, I don't know what place that this is to or whatnot, but let me show you what's in there. There's like this. Let me show you what's in there. 
This is Lanyard Toys. I'm not sure if Lanyard is the corpse or if that's like the G.I. Joe or whatever, but it's like this little play area and it comes with barbed wire. Um, authorized personnel only. Um, guessing this is rope. Different, different ropes. This is a gun, a really large gun. With more barbed wire. Uh, you don't. You don't really need to do anything, dolls, dolly. All you need to do is just. Um, you just bid. Whenever you want to bid, you bid. And then, uh, if you win, you just email me or Justin. This is. I think it's a boulder. We're at uh, $15 right now. Hey, what's up, Pam? Good to see you. I'm glad you uh, stopped in. This is a vest for one of the figures. If you guys aren't already, please uh, do me a favor and subscribe to Pam and Crazy Dreamers. This is another Trolls. Oh, yeah. Trolls we had on before this was uh, Angry Birds. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't think he knows his volume was on. This is, I guess, part of one of those guns. There's a uh, sword knife type thing for one of the figures. Yeah, I muted him, though, Misha, so he's good now. Uh, this is Wild Quest. I guess that goes with the animals. And then I got some. Oh, this is this is a hood for one of the uh, figures as well. And then I have these two blaster guns. So we are at fifteen dollars to Siosa sales. Anybody else is interested, please feel free to uh, throw seventeen in the chat. I'd appreciate it. If not, we're going to go once to Siosa sales at fifteen. See a bunch of hello Nates in the chat. I'm guessing my favorite vapor is here. <laughs> yeah, it must be because Myra said hello Nate and the un unnamed beard. <laughs> nice. So we're going to go twice right now to um, Lisa Siosa Sells on, these to on this toy lot for $15. Anybody's interested, we're still looking for $17 on these. Um, so like I said, there's this bag of accessories, there's this bag here of animals, then uh, put all these figures back in the bag, just going to show you what we have, this is like the Star Wars looking guy, just toss them all in, these are all the action figures. Okay, we're going to go to the third and final call to Ciosa Sales at $15. And then I have Goofy Bobblehead, Despicable Me Minions, Little Snivy, Thor Tau, Two Pez Dispensers, Hatchimal, iPod, Phone, Armband Thingy. Fisher Price remote, Fisher Price phone, and a VTech Tiny Touch tablet. And that would be $15. Sold, sold, sold to Ciosa Sales. Thank you so much, Lisa. I really appreciate the business. And as I said before, each person that bids is getting a free Pittsburgh sticker sent in with their uh, with their order. And then I'm going to give you a card that's going to be personalized for me as well. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Anyone who wins, feel free to send me a um, message at my email address. We're on Justin now, a.k.a. Winnie the Pooh. You're muted, bud. Sorry. 
right. So I have a plush lot. Um, is that the same poo that Derek had? Uh, yeah, I, do. I just teleported it here. No, it's just different. Um, actually, I didn't see his, but this is a Disney tag. From the tag, it looks vintage. Um, so, who got the tush tag? What do you want to start these at? Oh, I'm sorry. This lot started me at 25 shipped. Okay. So $25 free shipping. A baby Dumbo. Disney as well. All these are clean. I mean, the, no smell, but no stains. So, baby Dumbo. If anyone wants to get us started at 25, you can go ahead and put it in the chat. If not, we'll take three passes to move on. That's awesome. And it is a so 25 to just me, Kathy. She knows the deal. Thank you, Kathy. It's, it's actually a Star Wars. Yeah. Brand, so that is awesome. This one, yeah, it's kind of cool. It looks brand new, but again, I will ship out um, all invoice after the auction and ship out in the morning as long as you can pay tonight. So this one, dog Bali. So we'll this one time. is everyone's favorite build a bear. <laughs> I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. It's okay, Derek. So build a bear here. Okay. Dolls, Dolly, and just me, Kathy. Hi, guys. Can you guys please send me information about the boxes that you guys got? So we ha we don't know what's going on with the uh, mystery boxes. Okay, and then here's another. That build a bear. Build a bear. Okay. Well, this build a bears do really well. Yeah. This one's a little more firm. But. So we're looking at uh, $27 to Dolls Dolly. We are looking for $29. And here's another photo bear. And you got a shirt on that one. This one's got a shirt. What's the shirt say? Is that a, uh, it's a, Oklahoma, it's a State. Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. State. Okay. Yeah. This one's really soft. So that is one. Two, three boulder bears. This one's a little bigger. Three boulder bears. That's awesome. Yeah, hey, I actually would love this lot. Thankfully, she's at her friend's house right now. <laughs> the baby Dumbo. Dude, you have a baby Yoda. I'd be all about that. Hey, I know. They're not going to make it, though. Dude, they got one. The ghost sent me a... Uh, Message the other day. He wants a baby Yoda from Disney. It's an oh. exclusive. Twenty nine to Dawn Bargain Hunter. The poo. You want to go thirty one on these? That poo looks vintage too. It is uh, from well, I would, I would assume from the tag it looks older, just from the style of the tag. Yeah. So, and then I have a Star Wars Yoda okay. with the. Yeah, what are they called? The docks or whatever they're called, something different. Yeah. So six pieces total. Three bold bear, two Disney, and a Star Wars. Nice. And I think we're at twenty nine. Yep, we're twenty nine at Dawn Bargain Hunter. You know how many you have total there, Justin? Uh there's six total. Six total, okay. Not bad. Those are all good ones, too. Those are uh, probably more in demand. Yep. All right. So, found this guy. He's hiding. Okay. Super Superman, too. The uh, vintage, just, um, you can tell from the tag. I didn't see a date, which I'm half blind, anyways. No, I mean, it's. No, it's not as old as I thought. It's nineteen ninety eight. But his head his head is hard. Yeah, taller. Yeah. Yeah. Is it plastic? Yes. It, yeah, his head's plastic. Nice I actually had one just like that. I, I got it at the bins and it sold probably within a week. 
Uh, right. It's almost the exact same thing. I didn't even come. I, I mean, I picked up plush. Yeah, it was a different looking of a face, but it was the same type of thing, like with the hard head and the soft body. Right. right. So that's seven people. We will, we will, we will see you, sir. She wants our right. mailing address is uh, Anthony. So where are we at? We're at, We're at 29, so Don Barney. Does anybody Here. want to go 31? Oh, look. Here's growing. another one. Keep adding to it. Keep bidding. This one is a I'm <laughs> big sister. Somebody, somebody's having a baby. They need this. It's a gun. Gund is a good brand as well. Yeah, super soft, really good condition. I don't think I've seen one non-name brand in there. No, there's <laughs> not. I don't. I don't pick any up if they're a brand. Uh, that's eight pieces. Need one else. We got Don at twenty nine. So again, who? Build a bear. Yoda. Yoda bear. Baby Dumbo. I'm the big sister. I'm going to go twice to Don Bargain Hunter at 29. Build a bear. And a Superman. The beard likes baby Dumbo. So it's beard approved. <laughs> All right, guys. So, uh, last and final call on this. If anybody wants to bid on this, uh, we're looking for $31. If not, we're going to award this lot to Don Bargain Hunter. So seven pieces total. Yep. It's all name brand stuff, too. Yep. Name brand stuff sells here. I want to re remind everyone in chat too, right after we're done here with the auction, Nate, every day I'm hustling, is going to be doing a working hangout. So if anyone's interested in, you know, hanging out, doing a little work, um, you make sure you subscribe to Nate's channel every day I'm hustling. You'll see him there in the chat. You can drop the three dots and go check him out. Nate, if you want, you can drop your link too, dude. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to call this one sold to Don Bargain Hunter. Thank, Thank you, Don. Don. Appreciate it. Okay. We're going to go back to moi. Derek, if you have anything else, just let me know. Yeah, um, I got another pretty cool piece. All right. We'll, we'll do you first then. Go ahead. Hey, guys. I'm back. Sorry, we had some things with the kids, so... Um, I am throwing up a retro pier that needs a little bit of cleaning, but I think if anybody knows anything about sneakers, we got Nikes. Oh, those are cool. Nice colors, too. Yep. And they're, they're legit. They're real. I mean, they're not Jordans. They're actual. These are old school. Those are like Air Force Ones? Yeah. Yep. So Where are you gonna put those up at? Uh, twenty five shipped. Okay, it's not bad. What size are they? Size ten. Okay, so we got a size ten. Um, they they look to be retro Air Force Ones. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like in a pastel colorway. Yep, lime green, yellow, lime and yellow. And okay, white. so so J Dub killing kicks. I I would give you the advantage over me. Says those are. Uh, 
SB Dunks. So thank you. SB Dunks. You know that they are SB Dunks. Thanks for uh, clarifying that, man. I appreciate it. Say, say, like, must like sneakers. So, twenty-five love, shoes, guys. I love shoes, but I don't have the knowledge that is necessary to be a sneakerhead. I mean, they just need a little bit of cleaning, and I think they'll they'll be amazing. Um, so, if anybody's interested, let me know. J Dub, what would you say something like that would be worth, in your opinion? I'm sure you probably have, you know, some kind of a inside. The soles, the soles are like unbelievable. Oh yeah, yeah, they they look nice. So, I mean, that's that's nothing to some baby wipes and maybe some uh, goo gone couldn't take care of. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, that, that's what I use. I'll, I'll use baby wipes and goo gone on my. Uh, my white shoes or any color shoes, they get dirty for that matter. I just like how they have the original uh, laces and everything, too. Yeah, that's really cool. So, did he say anything? I haven't seen it. Uh, he says, I don't know that pair. Some of them are more rare. Looks like an uh, older pair. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. It looks older to me as well. Okay. Um, but, yeah, yeah, 25 guys, free shipping on this. Um, if you're interested, go ahead and throw a bid in there. Uh, it's a size 10. Yep. Uh, if you're not interested and you want to get to the next item, guys, just throw us three passes and we'll move on. Mm -hmm. That is pretty cool, though, Derek. <laughs> Told you, I find some really funky stuff. So, we got one pass by Just Me Kathy. Okay. Looking for a bid or two more passes and we'll move on. I mean, you know that if, even if they're fifty dollars sneakers, so Dolly has a pass. Right. One more pass, and we'll move on to the next item. Unless anyone's interested, you can go ahead and throw twenty five dollars at Derek, and he'll ship these right to you. Okay, so we got the third and final pass by Don right. Martin Hunter. So we will move on to the next. That's fine. Okay, so we'll go to more. And what am I going to bring up now? I think I'm going to do some clothes. This is this is the bargain effect special because Tommy likes buying clothes. So these are all brand new with tags clothing. Um, I got all of these at Ross Dress for Less. In case you're wondering, um, these are a pair of Puma like mesh athletic gym shorts, um, black and orange, size small. It's got the price tag right here. It says $22. That would be the MSRP. Next, I got a pair of, I think these are Reebok. Yeah, Reebok, um, regular size medium. Um, I want to say these are like mesh shorts, but they're almost like compression type with the inner, you know, str string there. But yeah, they're pretty nice. Um, let's see if this has a price tag on it. Yeah, this says size medium MSRP $40. And we're going to start this off at $25 for this lot, guys. Sorry, I didn't give you that number up front. But yeah, this lot will start at $25 with free shipping. Everything in here is brand new with tags. This is another piece that I got from uh, the mystery box from Derek. This is a size large Captain America shirt. Still has got the tag on it. I try to keep everything nice and folded so that way you don't get it all jacked up in the mail. This is pretty nice. I like these a lot. I bought them completely out of these. These are uh, uh, Echo Unlimited like bubble vest jackets. This is a size 2X. It's got a black hood on it. A little echo logo there, echo logo there. This does have a tag on it and a $74 MSRP on it as well. So the, these are nice. I've sold the heck out of these this season. I sat on these for like nine months. I bought them at the end of winter last year and uh, I've been selling the heck out of them lately. I've literally probably had. 70 of them. I went around to like every um, 
every single Ross in Pittsburgh and bought them all up. So this is $25. We're still looking for the first bid. Uh, if you guys aren't interested in clothing, you can pass it. Um, good deal, though. Um, there's some nice stuff here. So this is a $36 MSRP. This is Studio by Omega. This is a size small. This is a sweater. Brand new with tags. It's a quarter zip. There's a lot of value in this. Um, here is a pack of medium Hanes tagless tanks, a.k.a. wife beaters. Brand new sealed. And let me see if there's a price on this one or anywhere. Doesn't have a price, but has like the that barcode or whatever. Still looking for $25 as the opening bid. Okay, so we have a polo shirt. This is an Adidas Climacool. Um, it's got all the tags on it and everything. It has a $60. Um, MSRP on it. Uh, this is a uh, size XL. The only thing is this one has been branded uh, DRS, Doctors, whatever that is right there. But um, it's very lightweight, very cool, um, size extra large. Um, normally the Adidas Climacool stuff does well. I don't know that I'm guessing that um, the branding on it probably hurts its value a bit. I do have some Aeropostale brand new stuff. This is a size medium right here. Uh, MSRP of $19.50 on this. Don't I look good in it? We got one pass by Don Bargain Hunter. Got another uh, pair of like gym shorts, mesh shorts. This is a Spalding uh, size large, or excuse me, size small. Uh, $25 MSRP. Another shirt. This is a, I think it's Aeropostale. Yeah, Aeropostale. Uh, white um, polo shirt. This is a size double X, and it has a $36.50 MSRP on it. We also have a pass by two hip chicks, and one by Alexis as well. So I will put these away and not show the rest, and we will move back over to Justin. Okay, um, do we have any interest in any Magic the Gathering cards? Do what? Sure I'm sure somebody does. All right, I've got a small lot. It's 100. Excuse me. There's 192 cards. I don't know anything about them. 38 of them are like holographic or oil or whatever you call them. So I'm going to start this at um, 10 shipped. Okay. We're looking for $10 free shipping, Magic the Gathering cards. We had $10 to Ciosa sales. Anybody want to give us 12 the so I got I got three stacks. Um, like I said, there's 192 cards total. Um, let me show you the, these are the shiny ones. So Yeah, there's 30, 38, 38 different um, foil or holographic. What do you call them, Anthony? What are they? And they're all shiny. Those look like lands. I don't know a whole lot about magic. Yeah, those are lands, but they are foils. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm, sure, I'm sure that they're worth it. Yeah. The, the, a common land is, is like 10, 15 cents, but a foil land could go. Five dollars all to twenty dollars. It all depends. But 
Yeah, twelve dollars to Nate every day. I'm hustling. Look Thank you, Nate. Dollars. Fourteen dollars to just me, Kathy. Thank, Thank you. you Look Kathy. at the game, guys. Again, one hundred ninety-two total. I guess. Yeah, let's see. Okay, so we are at seventeen or well, sixteen to Nate currently. Uh, we go by twos, so Ciosa said seventeen. Uh, we'll have to go eighteen, Ciosa. But 20 to Nate every day I'm hustling. Thank you, Nate. <clears throat> Anybody want to go 22 on this one? We're going to go once to Nate every day I'm hustling. The beard must like magic. <laughs> I, think the, I think the beard used to play magic. Uh, well, if the beard used to play magic, then he probably saw like one or two cards that are worth it in there. Yep. All if right. It, so, if, uh, if it gets yeah. 25, look, I have a deck box and it's got that must be an entire deck then, if that's what it came in. No, he had, he had three decks already built. Yeah, I had three decks, but this, this is a deck box. Um, and it's got, um, I've got. Fifty of these, of these uh, card protectors. Yeah, and if it twenty five, I'll throw the deck box in. Okay. So if we get to twenty five, uh, he says that he'll throw in the sleeve and the deck box. So deck boxes are normally anywhere from like four to six dollars, depending on where you buy them. Uh, yeah. Sleeves, a pack like that, can go anywhere from seven to nine dollars, maybe even yeah. ten, depending if that's a, a more sought after. Sleeve, yep. and I'm just speaking from Pokemon experience. Uh, yeah, because it's the same thing. The, they, yeah, the same company makes the deck boxes and everything. Exactly. But well, at least we know it, it's either in the Grail is in Ohio or California. Because uh, yeah. to Kathy, those three boxes she didn't get the Grail. Yeah. Okay, so that's what you're getting there, guys. So we're gonna go twice to Nate every day. I'm hustling. Oh, what a good meat. Anyone is interested, this is your last and final call. If not, the beard's getting them. I, I, I heard the Saudis like playing uh, playing magic too. <laughs> That's probably why he's getting them. <laughs> <laughs> he's a secret Santa for uh, a bunch of Saudi children. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we're going to call that one sold to Nate every day. I'm hustling for $20. Thanks, Nate. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, Nate. All right. So we're back to me now. Yeah. Next lot. I want to pull up. We'll do a reseller special. This is a bag full of stuff that. We all pick up every single time we go to um, any type of yard sale or whatever. This is a blank media slot. So starts off, this is opened, but these are still unused. Uh, there's, I think, 23 of them here. Uh, blank, uh, are these CDRs or DVRs? CDRs. Blank CDRs. Um, here is a package of blank DVRs, brand new sealed. Uh, uh, five of them in this pack. This is a pack. Oh, this is going to be uh, $20 free shipping, by the way, guys. So this is good for resale value. Uh, this is brand new sealed. These are three GXMP high quality. Uh, these are camcorder um, tapes by Mackle. These are all Still new sealed. Uh, this is a blank audio cassette by Maxwell. 
here's another one. This one is, I'm guessing similar. It's also by Maxel, audio cassette. This is a Fuji blank video cassette tape. We're a new sealed. And it's starting at $20 uh, free shipping on this. I have a four pack here of Fuji film, um, six hour tapes, brand new sealed. Um, it, it is a little bit dirty, probably needs dusted off or whatever. I've had those sitting in my basement for a while. So sorry about that. Three passes. Okay, we're three passes. We will move on. And well, now, so Yosef Sellers came in at 10. Wait okay. a minute. Everybody said pass, and now they're all coming back 14, 16. Okay. Did. Are we bidding on these, or what's the deal? Good. I got if it's at sixteen, I'll honor the bid. Where's that my chat at? I'm trying, I'm trying to straighten it out. Let's see. I don't even see any of that. No. Justin, you can bid. Yeah. Oh, Nate saying that was from. Do we have passes for? So we're at 20 for Don Bargain Hunter. Okay. Yeah, okay. I knew it was a, it's like confusing. So I'll stop putting stuff away then. Yeah. Um, okay, so there's all that stuff you've seen already. Plus here is a TDX blank VHS tape, brand new. Um, here's an, actually two of the Maxwell Golds, brand new VHS tapes. Um, then Fuji Film, brand new VHS tape as well. I don't drop it. Then I have eight of them that that are open. These are the uh, used VHS tapes. I use these typically to um, pair with uh, any combo units I sell. Uh, we have 22 to Justin Jacobs, 24 to Don Bargain Hunter. So there's eight open ones. And then there's eight brand new sealed ones. And then we have a total of six of these. Uh, four of them are for camcorders. Two of them are for um, cassette tapes. Five brand new sealed DVD-Rs. And 23, I believe, um, CD-Rs. Those are open, but they, you know, they're basically like new. Um, so we, we're up to 28 for Don Bargain Hunter. Does anybody want to go 30 on this blank media lot? I'm going to go once to Don Bargain Hunter for $28. $30 to Justin Jacobs. Do I hear 32 anywhere? To give you an idea of how much you're getting, about enough to fill a bookshelf, like one shelf on a bookshelf, because it's full, but then I have stuff packed on the sides as well. So Dawn is out. We're at $30 to Justin. We're going to go once there. Got an Aldi's bag here. You can go twice to Justin Jacobs for thirty dollars. Anyone want to go thirty-two? This is going to be your last and final chance. All right, we're going to go ahead and call that sold to Justin Jacobs for thirty dollars. Thank you very much, Justin. I appreciate it, dude. Sure, buddy. All right, I have another lot of Hot Wheels. This one is 36 cars. And I believe I think there's two or three that are newer. The rest of them are, are older. So I'm going to start this one at 25. Shipped. shipped. 36 cars total. Those are nice. Those are early 2000s, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, early 2000s. 2000. 
<laughs> I've been around Derek too much. I'm starting to recognize these things. <laughs> just look at the Justin. Just look at the front of the cards. A little circle says says the number on them. Oh, does it? Yeah. See up top in the left hand corner. See it says the date. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Cocoa Puffs, that's cool. That, yeah, that's the, the they did a whole series of the Cocoa Puffs, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, all that kind of. Yeah, he pulled a Reese's one earlier. Yeah, this one's pretty cool. It's got a scratch thing behind it. Uh, yeah, that, that was uh, that was to win. That was to win uh, some like five thousand dollars or something like that, if I remember right. I wonder if it's still valid. Nope. This, this was my, this was my first car. Unfortunately, it didn't look this nice, but it was a oh, yeah. Camaro. Camaro. Yep. Um, 86 Camaro. Oh, much nicer than mine, dude. There's got an older Camaro. 70s. Yep. Yep. It's the Dragula. That, uh, that's an actual coffin. Yep. That's the diaper dragon. That they just re they just re issued that car. Again, twenty five ship. Yep. Thirty six cars total. And I'll have them shipped out tomorrow. I'll invoice after the auction. And have them shipped off tomorrow. These are great cars, guys. Especially there's a Ferrari for uh, how oh, yeah. many nice. Ferraris anymore? Why is that there? They lost the they lost the uh, the licensing. Gotcha. There's, no, there's another chance to win five grand. <laughs> you just have to get into DeLorean to get it. All right. All right. <laughs> I like that. We're looking for $25 on these. If you're interested, go ahead and put a 25 in the chat. If not, let us know you're not interested by giving us three passes. There's a Shelby. Yep. There's a lot of good cars in there, guys. I'm not even half two yet. Yeah, there are some great cars, guys. A lot of them race. I have a lot of them. That's the problem. <laughs> this, is, this one, you can't. I don't think you can tell, but it's kind of chrome. Yep. There's the bikes. Yep. Um, this is definitely worth it, guys. That's the handy. There's the, there's another version of Dragula. Yep. A lot of people take that bottom car. If that bottom car, that blue piece, that purple piece comes off, and it's an actual little version of a uh, stingray, a Schwinn stingray in it. There's another one of these. There's the piece right there, guys. That yeah, I put up on Derek said something about it. Yeah, if that was the super treasure hunt, you're looking at thirty-five, forty dollars. But that car in common goes to five to ten dollars. There's Anthony's Batmobile. Yep. That thing is awesome. Yep. You can't have a DeLorean in there, do you? No. I have one of my personal collection, but I, I uh, that's one of the ones I'm looking for is the DeLorean. We got a pass by uh, Don Bargain Hunter. Alexis, uh, is it Alex or Alexis? That's Alexis. Okay. So we are um, at twenty-five dollars still opening bid. Alexis, go ahead and click that link that I just dropped in the chat. And yeah, we we could do. Not a problem. Do they can easily pop on mine if they wanted to too on Monday? Because I have Darlene. Okay. And I, I think I'll do like it's probably not going to be a every week thing, but every once in a while, I'll yeah. probably do these pop ups. That's you know, cool. Um, but I, I typically, whenever I do these auctions, I normally sell on Derek's. Yep. 
Okay, Alexis is popping in, and I see it's her and not some half naked man. So <laughs> <laughs> there she is. <laughs> I will uh, bring you back up on. We're done with Justin's lot here. Yep. Um, nobody, nobody interested, but I'm telling you guys, twenty five dollars for thirty six cars. That you can't find it. Ship to your door. Yep. Going out going out tomorrow morning. Come on, guys. Hey Dave, the car boot picker. Good to see you, buddy. Hey, car boot picker. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're gonna need at least another pass or two to move on to the next lot. So we we'll take a bid or we'll take some passes. Don't don't feel ashamed to put a pass out there. You're not going to hurt anybody's feelings. You're actually going to help right. us out. You're Twenty-five oh, and there you go. Oh, yeah, yeah. They came in right after. Oh, thank we're gonna, you. We're going to need Kevin uh, reselling addict. Want to get these from the do man? Dennis, Dennis, new man. He's got he's got so many of my customs now, and he's he's he, he's building up those Hot Wheels. Dennis, <laughs> you missed him. I've already been to him, but I've got there's a, there, there's a lot of good cars in here. Yes. So yep. we're going to go. Okay, so reselling addicts is going to pass now. So we're 25 to Dennis do going once. Mm -hmm. Like I said, guys, tomorrow I'll be having a uh, uh, pop up myself, and it's going to be nothing but toys and Hot Wheels. So. We're going to go twice to Dennis too. We'd be looking at 27 if you uh, want the cars from the do, man. I need more. Dennis is like, I need more. <laughs> All right, last and final call, guys. Or else Dennis do is getting 36 Hot Wheels shipped to his door. Nice, Dennis. Dennis is the man. If I ever get to Virginia, I'm hanging out with him. Hey Dennis, I have about I have about a five hundred of them. I'm gonna put up tomorrow, so just be ready. <laughs> if you want more of your customs, though, Derek. What What's time that? is your pop up tomorrow? Two o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Is that Eastern? Yes. Yep. Okay. We're gonna call this sold to Dennis. Do. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you, Dennis. There's uh, Justin's email and everything up there. Uh, I'm going to let Alexis do a lot real quick or whatever she's planning to do. I know she has some jewelry, she said. I do. All right. Um, if you want to put your email in the chat to yeah. whoever wins this, um, you don't have to do it right now. You can do it at the end, whatever's easier for you. Um, that way they can email you directly, and you can set up payment that way through PayPal. That sounds great. Hi. So this is Alexis, everyone. She's going to be showing off some jewelry. Okay, so it's lagging a little bit, I see. Yeah. Always does. Yeah. Um, the first thing I have is it's a white ice um, necklace, sterling silver, made oh, in Thailand. I'll just fold this up here. That's nice. What would you like to start this off at, Alexis? Um, twenty-five for the necklace. Okay, so we're looking for twenty-five dollars, guys. Uh, thank you, doll. Nine two five. Yep, nine two five. I'll take the whole chain out. Okay. What's the size on the chain? Um, I believe it's. I think it's sixteen inch, but I'm gonna have to measure it. Real delicate chain on that. New with tags. So let me get my tape measure. I'm sorry. I'll be right back, guys. It's okay. So we're looking for $25, guys. Um, I'm assuming it'd be free ship, but we'll have her clarify that when she comes back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Sterling silver, nine. So it, are you charging shipping on top on this, or is it free shipping? No, shi no shipping is free. Okay, so $25 free shipping. Uh, Kathy wants to know what the pendant on it is. It's actually, it's 20-inch chain, 
and it's three little circles. I don't know if you can see those. If you could try to hold it like up to like your camera, like up to the lens. There you go. There you go. Now you can see it a little bit better. Yeah. So just those three, like a triple, uh, triple ring. I forget what they're called. Huh. In three interlocking loops. Yeah. I yeah. Know, I know silver is not cheap. No. I don't know a whole lot about jewelry, but I know that it's, uh, yeah. it's expensive for, especially yeah, 925 is not cheap. <laughs> yeah. Nope. And, um, Believe it or not, I, I've had it for a while, so the price has come down quite a bit. <laughs> but it, it comes in its own little gift box, um, which also comes in its own little box itself. So if you wanted to give it to somebody for Christmas, um, perfect little gift. Yeah, so 25 for that. 925, yep. 925, made in Thailand. There's the tag. That's awesome. You see that? Yep. yep. Does anybody want to start us off at $25 on this necklace? If you're not interested, just give us three passes and let us know you'd like to move on to the next item. You know who you should connect with? I'm sure, I don't, you might know her already, but Kelly Hip Flippin' Mama. I do. I love her. If you, Because I know she gets a ton of jewelry people. Uh, for options. Yeah. So you might, uh, I don't know how much people I have that like jewelry. Uh, I don't know that I've, yeah. okay, we got one pass from Mr. Renee. One pass. Um, but hopefully there's some jewelry people out here. Anybody else? Okay, so Dolls Dolly says that can go anywhere from 50 to $79. It's a good deal at 25 then. You're you're guaranteeing yourself a double or a triple up. Yeah, you could resell it if you wanted to. <laughs> I won't be offended. <laughs> I've got vintage jewelry too. Um, and I know someone said they're looking for chains. Um, I've got two different types of chains that I could show. Um, but I want to give the stage to somebody else too. Okay. Uh, does anybody else interested starting at 25 or just throw a couple passes in the chat and we'll move on to the next item? Okay, pass, we'll pass. Uh, it, it is 925 silver, uh, Mr. John Ackerman. Yep. So we are at three passes, so we're going to move. Dolly dolls need to change. Okay, n next round, dolls. Okay, so we will bring up those chains next. I'm going to go to um, myself. Okay, so this is a GNC lot. Um, my, my wife got this in the mail. Um, full transparency. It's a G, my GNC Pro Box is what it's called. Um, she don't mess around with no GNC stuff. Um, I guess we bought something there, and they signed us up for this card, which got us this. But inside the box... There's a whole bunch of stuff. We're going to start this off at $20, by the way. Um, ah, no, that's the, better. The thing that I thought was coolest in here is there's a $50 gift card for um, Hello Fresh, okay. New Year, Fresh You. $50 gift card plus $25 off your first two deliveries plus free shipping. Claim within 30 days. She just got this, so you're still within that 30-day period. Plus, there's no expiration date on the back in the fine print. Yeah. It, it doesn't have an expiration, so you're, you're good as far as that goes. I checked it over pretty well. So, um, yeah, yeah. Some supplements here. This is Tamiflex, fast acting, fill the difference in just five days. I'm not entirely sure what Tamiflex is. But I don't know what any of this stuff is, to be honest with you. This is like my wife's thing. These are all brand new. None of it's been opened. Um, let me see if there's an expiration on this. Um, five of 22, that expires. Then we have some lean essential multivitamins. And the expiration date on this one is 3 of 21. 
And then we have yeah. some hair, skin, and nails formula. And the expiration of that is three of 21 as well. Then we have a lean shake by Slim Vance. And where's the expiration on this? I'm not seeing an expiration, but this is like brand new stuff. We just got this. Um, next, we have some double tap. I'm not really sure what double tap is, but we've got it. I thought you would know what double tap is. Isn't that something in wrestling? <laughs> Um, oh, expiration is four of 22 on the double tap. We have one pack. Um, we have some CLA car quarantine. And expiration on this one is four of 21. Looks like a beta carotene, that stuff. So we have one pass by John. Um, this one is C4 Ultimate Shred. That way you can have abs like me. <laughs> the expiration on that one is 12 of 20. Then we have some PX Keto Burn. And let me see if I can find an expiration here. Mm. Expiration looks mm. kind of worn off on here. Looks like you got a four of 20. Okay, so Myra's been in at 20. Thank you, Myra. So we'd be looking for 22. And then you got some coupons in here for a free bottle of Tri Sleep and 20% off of a full size bottle of Tri Sleep. And this is what I think. Every day, uh, Nate, uh, every day, uh, that beta carotene will help you with your beard. Yeah, there, there's a, uh, here you go, hair, skin, and nails. There you go, bud. So it'll, it'll help the skin under your beard too, Nate. So there is, I don't know if I should, probably shouldn't count the coupon as one thing, although it is good for a free bottle of something. So, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, if you count the gift card. This was the only thing that really interested me was a gift card. <laughs> so. Hello, Fresh. It says, enjoy a home cooked meal, conquer 2019 in three easy steps. Choose from 15 recipes, blah, blah, blah. Make homemade meals, deliveries, ingredients. Enjoy cooking and eating without the fuss. So, yeah, I guess you go on this is a website where you can go and order healthy foods. They send you all the ingredients for whatever meal you choose, and you just cook it at home and I don't know, because you got fifty dollars <laughs> plus twenty five dollars off of your first two months or whatever. So you get the whole box, twenty twenty dollars free shipping. I'm trying not to give away my address. Although the winner will get it, I guess. <laughs> GNC Pro Box. We're gonna go once to Myra for twenty dollars. Anybody's interested? We're looking for twenty two. You go twice to Myra at twenty dollars. That's last call on the GNC box. We'll give it a second here. We'll be looking for twenty-two dollars. If not, Myra is going to get it. All right, guys, we are officially sold. To Myra for twenty dollars. Thank you so much, Myra. I really appreciate it. And we're gonna go back to Justin. All right. So I have a lot of ten pair of different size the new kids uh, slippers, perfect for stocking stuffers. Not even sure what, what that does one. the box say. Oh, I'm sorry, frogs. There's frogs. Again, they're all new. There's a boy fox. And um, I'm sorry, I want to start this at or um, ten shipped. Somebody's got grandkids that need these or kids. 
Like you said, they're various sizes. We're looking for ten dollars, guys. Hey, Denise, how are you? There's no interest, just pass, and we'll move on. Take, take three passes, guys, to go on to the next. How many pairs do you have there, Justin? Um, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's nine pairs. So you got nine pairs, and you're asking ten shipped. Ten shipped. That's an incredible deal. They still new with tags and everything. Uh, they there's no tag. <clears throat> I'm sorry, there's no tag. They are brand new. They still have the paper in them. Yeah. Um. So yeah, nine pair. I thought there was ten. I apologize. I think I said ten at the beginning. I, I would think that'd be a good deal for like somebody selling on Poshmark or you know something like that. You know, that'd be. How much is the lot starting at? Ten dollars right now. Yeah. We're bidding at ten. We'd be looking at twelve dollars for anyone else that wants in. Oh, just me, Kathy, and ten. So just me, Kathy, is at ten. So literally, that's like what a dollar and ten cents per pair. <laughs> that's well, that's great. Yeah. Show you. I wish they fit. I'd wear them. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you rocking those. Cool. We're gonna go on to just me, Kathy, at ten dollars. Anyone else is interested, we'd be looking at $12 for nine pairs of these cute little slippers. <laughs> Pat Dees thinks you'd look uh, cute with those slippers on. Thanks, everyone, for showing Myra some love in the chat, too, for her birthday. I appreciate it. If I could, I'd eat a big piece of cake for you right now, Myra. <laughs> Any other interest? I'm going to go twice to just me, Kathy, at $10. That's a heck of a deal, Kathy. All right, guys, last and final call. $10 to just me, Kathy. Anyone else want in on this? Thank you, Kathy. All right. We're sold to just me, Kathy. Thank you so much, Kathy. I appreciate it. Derek, let us know if you have anything else you want to throw up, man. Yeah, I just said I just, I put it in a private chat, so I didn't know if you saw uh, it. Or not. No, I didn't see it. Okay. We'll go to you then, and then we'll go back to Alexis. All right, guys. Well, this is something that's from my childhood, and I know it's from everybody else's childhood. This is definitely going back. I know we have a couple of people that do crazy, that love Lego. This is a whole stack of Lego catalogs and books from 1974 all the way up to 1983. Nice. Well, you going to um, start this at that? Uh, 15 shipped. 15 shipped. All right, guys. So we're looking at $15 on these. Uh, Derek will share a little bit about them with you. Yep, these have the original stickers from the different play sets still in them. Uh, this is the Legoland. This, uh, this is number 6,000. It literally takes you to the whole city of all the different buildings. Um, hot. It's just showing you all the new products coming out for that year. That's the one book. Uh, we got the Legoland set up for the cars. Yeah, it's number 63... Sixty-three ninety. Another one. The cool part that I have here that was with this was, I have an an original letter from nineteen eighty from Lego, telling telling this woman that was interested in buying Lego, and I guess there wasn't a lot of places that that sold it at the time, but you have. Every store that sold it in the northeast in all over the all over the country. Um, look at there's one piece here. You could get the base plates, which are now going for twenty-five to thirty dollars each. 
You can get a seven and a half by ten inch, two in a package, for three dollars back then. And it's actually dated. I'll cover this, but actually dated nineteen seventy eight. Now, it's an original letter signed by a member of the Lego uh, crew. Got another idea book from 1980. This was at Apex. If people, I don't know if anybody knows what Apex was. It's a local local area, but these were 79 cents back in 1980. Um, got another one, 6383. Uh, another. Legoland area building accessories showing you all the different sets. Um, they're on the back, 1978. Um, got another Legoland space. I got all these little mini books from assortment guides. I mean, there's stuff in here. If you had some of these uh, products, they're probably $50, $60, 200 $300, some of these pieces. I know that some of these books are a little important. Uh, Universal Motor Set. I know that's a that's a hard piece to find now in good condition. How many do you have total, Derek? Anyway, right. Probably, I want to say, let's see. In order forms from, from them also. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty plus the letter. See, so that that's okay. So we have fifteen right now to Don Bargain Hunter. So okay. that. Less than 50 cents a piece if you count the letter. And here's the oldest one that I found was 1974. Look how low the number was. Number 435, tip or oh, wow. So That's awesome, dude. And, and it's not even in English. It's in German or Dutch, whatever they were. <laughs> so if you guys are interested, I mean, it's, that's how easy it was to build. One, two, three, four, and then five. So... And by interested, this is great. This, some some of the stuff is I know, I know. I think this book was like copied for like fifteen dollars alone. So we have seventeen from Frontier Flipper, and now it's a twenty to Bar Don Bargain Hunter. We'll okay, twenty two. If anyone else is interested in jumping in on these, it even comes with like I said, the folder um, of all the Lego pieces and. And somebody who's interested too, I get also came in with it. Look at this Coleco Industries electronics department. Look at the stuff that you can purchase the following <laughs> Coleco Vision video. Dawn Bargain Hunter. Mail order form from them uh, on how much the stuff uh, was going to be to charge. Here's the. Uh, Lego packs mailing order ordering seventeen dollars two dollars. I mean, you can't get this stuff anymore. It was twenty five. We're gonna go once to Dawn Bargain Hunter. So Lego spare parts, Lego T shirts. You know, Looks like they, they sent it away, but there was the T-shirts, new Lego logo T-shirts. <laughs> okay, we're going twice to Dawn Bargain Hunter. We're at $25, looking at 27 Great stuff. I'm surprised that uh, Dawn's not here. Two hip chicks. She likes this stuff, too. But, yeah, Lego building sets, and, I mean, this stuff... The stuff they make now is nothing like what this used to be. Okay, last and final call at twenty-five dollars. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and call that 
sold to Don Bargain Hunter at twenty five dollars. Appreciate. Thank you very much, Don. We're back in that. I'll put my email in again so he knows what. And yeah, make sure you put your uh, email there, and Don will shoot you an email. Uh, Alexis, um, whoever wins yours, you'll just type your email in for them as well. Since I didn't have it pre Sure. Time. Thank you very much, Don. Okay. You so you said you wanted chains. I have two different sizes and two different styles. Well, two different sizes. Sizes in two different styles. This one's 27 inch. They're both 925. Um, let me see if I can. Yeah. It's real small. I don't know if you're going to be, it's going to focus. So, uh, you see that? Kind of. Yeah, I can sort of see it. Yeah. Um, snake chain, uh, 27 inches. Then this is the other example of what I have. Um, it's got the pendant on the bottom. You know, if you're interested in the pendant, uh, the, the whole set's going to go for, uh, 25. This chain alone is 15 and this chain alone is also 15. So, um, let me pull it. This one's a little easier. I got 925, right? Uh, almost. How much are you going to start? Almost. I'm sorry? How much do you want to start the bidding at? Oh, I said um, 15 for just the chains. And if they want the pendant with it, um, I know that um, Dolls wanted just the chains. I don't know if she's interested in either one of the chains. Okay. See it. Okay. Okay, so we're at 15 then for the chain. Anybody want to start us off? And then for Go ahead. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Flippin' Mama in the house. Hi! Just in time for some jewelry. Now how much? Yeah, you, like you can see how I do. Lexus is uh, making it rain nine two five in here, Kelly. Now how much you like that nine two five? So we're at fifteen dollars for the chain. Um, it would be extra if uh, she yep. wants to see the pen. Myra wants to see the pendant um, up close. Doll says it's twenty seven inches. Both, both of them. That's cute. Is that like a peach or something like that, or? It's just... actually blue. You, let me put something behind it so that you can see the color. Oh, okay. It's like a almost a, a clear, but it's it's definitely tinged blue. My camera's no, really not picking it up. It because the they're all blue. Like it looks green, but they're all blue. And then I'll show you the hallmark on the back. Where did it go? Let me find it. Oh, where did it go? Don't embarrass me in front of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't even see it. Mama Kelly, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> That's the back of it. Go the other way. And then there's the front of it. Since it's not marked 925, I am certainly not going to charge you for 925 on that one. Although I know it is. But I got to be fair. So... If you want just the chain, because I have just the chain, it's 15 for just the chain. If you want the pendant too, it's going to be 20, 25 to start. But it's free ship. All right, guys. So we're looking for uh, 15 or 25, depending on if you want the chain or not. You can differentiate whether you want it or not. Um, Doll saying, look at the ring of the pendant. 
the ring piece of the pendant. The ring of the pendant. Thank you. And uh, no, the snake chain is 27 inches. And uh, I think this is a waterfall chain. It, it kind of spins. Uh, that's 19. All right, guys, we have any interest on these. Go ahead and let us know if you're interested in this jewelry. If not, we'll take three passes to move on to the next item. Um, does look like by the questions, we do have some people interested. Uh, it is optional whether or not mm -hmm. you want the chains or if you want the pendant or whatnot. So make sure you differentiate that. Do you want to What's that? Just the chains 15. Dolls said just the chains 15. You want both chains? Yep. So both chains are 15, is that right? And they're 925? Yep. It's a pretty good deal. It's a very good deal. Now, is that a bid, Dolls? Or are, you, or are you just saying just the chains are 15 for anybody interested? You could clarify whether or not that's a bid. I'd appreciate it. I'll package them up and have them sent out tomorrow. Yes, it's 15 for two 925 chains, Pat D's. And they're both 27 inches long. No, one's 17, one's 19, and one's 27. Okay, my bad. Yep. Hey, see you, Glenn. I appreciate you being here, man. And yes, that's okay. a bid. Okay. Awesome. So we have 15 to Dolls Dolly. Anybody want to go 17 on these? Alexis did put in her uh, email there. Uh, what you'd want to do is the winner of this auction would want to email her directly, and you guys can set up payment through PayPal. Yep. So we're looking at 17. Yes, j yes, Kathy. For it, It's 15 for both. 15 for both. So you get both of them for $15 rather than – one is 15 and the other is 15. Is that what you're saying? Right. Okay. That's correct. So, yeah, it's for both. Then, 15 Kathy. for both. So, there you go. It's a good deal. Sorry about my phone, guys. ESPN. That's fine, Kathy. So, we're looking at 17, guys. We're going to go one time to Dolly at $15. These are 925 sterling silver, $17, yep. Pat D, 72. Thank you, Pat. We appreciate it. We'd be looking at $19 to whoever is interested in this. $19 to Dolls Dolly. Appreciate the uh, the bidding. We'd be looking at $21 to whoever is interested in these two chains. Uh, there is an additional add-on. We'll do that after the fact. Uh, you can let her know at the close of bidding if you'd like to pay the extra $10 for the charm. But we'd be at $19 for just the two chains right now. We'd go once over here to Dolls Dolly. Jody, I don't know if that's accurate. I've had people try and email me with that, and it hasn't come through. Did you just send me an email? <laughs> All right, guys, we're I did not get an email from Jody. All right, are we at 19? Yep, last and final time. Dolls Dolly. Does anybody want to go 21 on these? If not, we're going to close it out, and Dolls Dolly is going to get some nice uh, chains. You guys, you can't even get one chain for 21. Yeah, 
especially if you go to the mall, you're going to be paying double that. Uh. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and um, say sold to uh, Dolls Dolly for $19. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Dolls. All right. These are yours. <laughs> you know what, Dennis? Um, I might be able to make something happen, but Derek would have to probably call a couple options for, for me to uh, prepare one. All right, so we're back to me now. And I just have a random lot, to be honest with you. It's just a bunch of stuff I just pulled off a shelf. Um, <laughs> a lot of this stuff is new. Um, some of it might be used. Like, I think I think this is used. The VR Oculus or Ultimus True Depth 3D glasses. Um, they're in the package here. They're yeah. going to look wrapped, so okay. I'm going to go ahead and say they are used. But they look to be in good condition. Um, this is like a new old old package. Like packages got a little bit of wear to it, but this is a Kellogg uh, racing thing. I'm pretty sure Derek could clarify, but this is uh, from 1996, Terry Labonte. Yeah. When, when, you bought the, when you bought the cereal, that was on top. There was four different cars that you could get in the set. Yep. So this, this box right here is going to start at $20, um, free shipping. These are all brand new. These are uh, phone cases. These are like the cool ones that – okay, there it goes. You see like lips appear. Oh. Yeah. Yep. You like – it's like glitter that falls. Okay. So you like oh. show up. Uh, this is just like a regular type of phone case. I'm not entirely sure hard with the computer screen to actually show you another phone case. I think this is just black glitter. And again, this is $20 free shipping for everything in here. This is opened. A Dale Earnhardt Jr. mini RC car. Not not Budweiser, just Dale Jr. That's what it says on the on the car. That's one of the things we talked about. That was a that was a Sunoco pro, promo that you can only get at, at the gas stations. Yep, that thing's pretty cool. I got a Harley Davidson here. Again, twenty dollars free shipping on these. If anyone wants to start it at twenty, just go ahead and throw it in there. If you guys want to pass. Let me know you want to pass. So these are a couple things that I got. Um, these are frozen too, uh, and you like make your own rings. I have two packs of those. Can you make nine two five out of those? <laughs> yeah. I'm starting this higher than twenty dollars if you could. <laughs> um, these I just throw in there. These are going to be pretty much useless. And these are two calendars, like desk calendars um, for 2019. So I can either throw them away or include them for free in this lot. So those are pretty much going to be useless soon. I didn't realize what they were till just now. Um, this is a Doc McStuffin activity fun kit. So this is for kids. Just like a, I have like stickers and jewels and like a little activity pad and stuff in it well that thing's brand new hasn't been used and again we'll need uh, either a starting bit of twenty dollars or a pass passes and we'll move on this is a soothing beaded gel formula beauty mask so you can get your beauty beautification on yeah, that won't change for you, Anthony. <laughs> and then I have two boxes of Disney Tinkerbell uh, Valentine's card. So we have a pass from Justin Jacobs. I need two more passes or a bid, and then we will uh, move on. Yes, in fact, I did, Jody. Okay, we get a pass from Alexis. One more pass, and we can move on to the next. Get you back over to Justin Jacobs. All 
All right, cool. Shane gave us the last pass. Let's get back to Justin. Derek, do you want to call a couple and I can try to put something together for Dennis? Yep, I did, Jody. Thank you very much. That's excellent to know. Yeah. Quick question. Um, just type in the chat real fast if you would like to see Plush, Hot Wheels, <laughs> Tories, or Jory. I just think, no, wait a minute. Sorry. I'm going to do this real quick. Change your change plans, guys. Whatever he's got coming up. <laughs> Let's um, see what This is, I really don't want to open it, but I'll, um, I'll have to save it for another one if no one's interested. It's a, um, 10 pounds of jewelry, and it actually sold it at another auction, but something happened. It sold for $65 at another auction, but something happened, and um, – Anyway, so it's it's available again, and um, it, uh, it's like in like three bags in here. But this it's ten pounds of of uh, mixed jewelry. Was that uh, one of your big jewelry jars? Yeah, you this yeah. was one of the big ones. Yeah. So you had a big big jewelry jar that weighed ten pounds, guys. It was some great. Well, stuff. I had one that weighed eleven pounds, but yeah. Um, yeah. this one was one of the other ones, and then I had some stuff to it um, at the end. So this one's right at ten pounds. And I'll start it at uh at twenty five, if if there's any interest. If not, I understand because it's not open. But it did sell at the last one for sixty five. So, um, just real quick, if if there's no interest, just say pass, and I'll throw something else up real quick, please. Twenty five will just be Kathy. Right, thank you, Kathy. But yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff in here. Um. Like I said, I started the last one for twenty five, and it got to sixty five dollars. So we got to give me twenty seven. I don't really think there's any sense of holding the bag up, but nope. yeah, it's completely it's it's full. So ten pounds, everyone. Ten pounds of amazing amazing jewelry that he had in a jewelry jar. And I've got it in three three um uh padded envelopes. Yeah, three padded envelopes. So. so there we go, guys. Anybody else? I know I get 25. I'm having a little bit of computer problems, so if I lag a little bit, Derek, you could just cover for me. I'd appreciate it. You got it, bud. Thank you. Let's see, let's see you at 25. I haven't seen anything else. I don't know why. My, my, my. For the rest, I'll get it out first thing tomorrow. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Kathy at 25 still. Anybody 37? Yeah. 25, mm -hmm. 27 from Texas Val. Myra. Just me, Kathy. Yeah, I'm catching up a little bit. For some reason, I was a little <laughs> off. I just made sure everything was copacetic. So I had Kathy at 29. Yeah, that was Misha. That was my son walking by singing. Yes. So, so. 29 for just me, Kathy. Looking for 31. 29, looking for 31. We get 29, looking for 31. This is 10 pounds of jewelry, everyone. That's a lot of jewelry. That's a lot of heavy jewelry. <laughs> Again, it sold for sixty-five at the last auction. Not that yep. it matters now, but right. So, just me, Kathy, at twenty-nine. We well, got Texas Val at thirty-one. Thirty-one looking for thirty-three. Of course, the last auction it was on the jar, so everybody could see it. So, right, that's the problem. Yeah, but, they're, oh, they're, uh, they're going. They're going blind right now. I didn't. I didn't have it. Prepared for here, and I when right. um oh I forgot her name when the lady joined in made me think about it rem reminded me I had it yeah twenty three from th thirty three from Judge Me Kathy looking for thirty five yeah somebody says says Julie and Valerie appears exactly <laughs> thirty three looking looking for thirty five it's coming up after this uh reselling attic I think he said after this maybe 
six o'clock, maybe. I don't know. I don't know exactly what time. AJ said whenever we get done with the auction. Yeah. Yep. He understands. We're, 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 we're all cool. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So he has to make sure that uh, he has the Saudi. He's talking to the Saudis yeah. now to come home so they can have. The, if he can be have them in the work and hang out. <laughs> thirty three, looking for thirty five. I got just me, Kathy at thirty three, looking for thirty five. Thirty three, just me, Kathy, looking for thirty five. Going once to just me, Kathy. Anybody interested in going thirty five? A lot of stuff. Ten pounds, guys. Thirty-three dollars. Looking for thirty-five. Yeah, I know you have to be frugal. A lot of people do. I understand. I get just me, Kathy, at thirty-three, going twice. Third and final time. We're looking for thirty-five, guys. Looking for thirty-five dollars for ten pounds. Going and going, and we are sold. Just me, Kathy, for thirty-three dollars. Thank you. Congratulations, Thank you. Kathy. All right. I know Anthony's going to do the the flip. I can I can go again if you don't have anything, Derek. Well, I I have something. It's just uh, if he has, he's in charge of the the. Is that to me now? Ah. Hey. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I forgot you're quiet. All right. That's all right. All right. So here's the deal. Uh, the lot comes with the uh, brand new uh, Clinique makeup bag to start. Um, it is nine by. Five and a half. Um, and I will tailor the colors to your choice, but I'll show you what I've got. I've got the contour highlights. I've got this in all of the shades. Um, here, let me. On the go. So it's got a stick up the top, and then it's got the cream down the bottom. Um, I also have a uh, powder foundation. All of this is new. It's called Even Touch. Okay. What are we starting to start at, Alexis? Uh, this bid, uh, it's going to be for the whole lot. It's going to be 25, but it's going to have everything that you need in it. So it's a really good deal. $25 um, ship. Great. $25 ship. Your choice of eyeliner, I've got liquid black, eye tech. This is felt tip, smudge proof. I've used this. I love it. It's great. I've used almost all of this. As a matter of fact, I, I, had, <laughs> I had to restrain myself. <laughs> so... Uh, the eye crayon, um, this the shadow eyes. It's a teal color. Um, I if you want to do that in, instead of an eyeliner, or if you want to do that instead of an eyeshadow, I have the Milani Fierce Foil Eye Shine, and this is the Naples one. But I do have other shades if you're interested in the powder. Um, I have a lip liner. This one is pretty, pretty pink. I don't know if you can't really tell the color. I gotta get a better webcam, guys. I'm sorry. Not Don, my color. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think any color would work with you, Don. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Where's the other one? There it is. I have a. Uh, Stay put, waterproof. This is a dark blue eyeliner or the thick black eye tech bold. 
liquid eyeliner. Then I have the bronzer, which is Bronze Glow 01. And let me see. I know I have different shades of the. No, no everybody. Yeah, $25, the $25 shift. It catered to you. So. Catered to you. you know, I've got so uh, much here that. <laughs> I if I don't have what you need, then you need to go to the Milani store. <laughs> how, how many, how many, how many pieces, pieces in the lot altogether? All right, so there's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six with the lipstick. Um, um so six piece flag. Six pieces of makeup starting at $25. I don't think you could get a better deal. Yep, I've got okay. the natural okay. tan. That's a little darker. I'm sorry, this is my first. Yeah. <laughs> this is yeah. my first auction. Selling addicts at 25, looking for 27. Yeah, I, the only time that I know about makeup, my wife doesn't wear it. So the only time I know about makeup is when I watch Steve and Steph go and she goes the trash picking in Ulta. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got reselling addicts at twenty five, Myra Elaine at twenty seven. Thank you very much, Kathy. Bye, David. Um, yeah, so it. Just send me an email after this auction. We'll work out like a way to find out exactly what you want, but mm -hmm. six items plus the bag. I got reselling addicts at 29. Looking for 31. I know some of the stuff. I know when, when uh, Steph says, oh, this is like $7 just for this one little piece. I'm like, okay, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let me show you some of the lipsticks. I've got every shade imaginable. And it's already all packaged, but <laughs> that's just my my OCD. Pat, if you're in if you're in the house, uh, there's some makeup. There's some uh, lipstick coming up, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we've got pinks, we've got deep reds, we've got um, corally like reds, um, we've got, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven different shades of lipstick. We so, addicts out. Yep, Myra Lane's at 31. 31, looking for 33. Want, looking for 33. I've got this is Fierce Foil 05. Yeah, this is the Milan. So if you didn't like the the Naples, which you can't really see, so hold on. If you didn't really like the Naples, mm. I've got the Milan. Yeah, we understand. We understand. It's it's that time of the year. That's why it's 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 tough right now. Unless your your YouTube, unless your eBay is blowing up, you can have more fun. You know. Yeah. We got thirty one from Myra, looking going once. All right, Myra. No 31. challengers. Three. Nothing. Nope. Any luck? Any more? Any more? I know reselling act the addict says they're out. So going twice to Myra Lee. Third and final time. Anybody interested in going at it? And Myra Elaine has sold, sold, sold for thirty. Good deal. Awesome. Thank you so much for your business, Myra. Thank you very much, Myra. Um, let me throw my email in there and you're very welcome myra happy birthday i'll, I'll send you a special extra gift no we're just waiting to see i know anthony had problems with his computer so 
Yeah. You might have to pop something else up if he can't bounce us over. Hey, Tommy. What's up, buddy? Tommy 2.0 cool. in the house. You get it right. Oh, well, Kathy, I, I'm a very nice person, so <laughs> I shouldn't be in business. <laughs> so, all right, Anthony, you back yet? Not that I can't hear you, so I don't think so. All right, we got to come up. Let's see what else we got here. Justin. Uh, Justin got knocked out. I Justin, I can't do anything either. Uh, Anthony shut himself down, so it looks like it's you got it right now, right, <laughs> Alexis. Until Anthony gets come back up. Boop, boop. All right, so uh, let's do. Uh, who likes vintage jewelry? Yeah, I should see a show of hands. One, if you like vintage you gotta... jewelry, two, if not. Yeah. <laughs> I got vintage jewelry, or I could do new jewelry. Yeah, come on, guys. <laughs> One for vintage. One, One for, for vintage. vintage. Yep. Right. Sorry, guys. Mike, he he's back. So, are we on Alexis still? Or who are we on? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go one more with Alexis, and then we'll okay. bounce to me. Okay. Thank uh, you. Yeah, there we go. I was going to say Justin's in the back room, too. So. All right. All right. Okay. Do so. vintage, vintage stuff. Vintage jewelry. Yeah, we've got these chandelier earrings. And here, let me turn this light on. So, oh, it's not plugged in. But we've got these chandelier earrings. They're clip-ons. So they're not going to pull the... The lobe down, and there's obviously there's two of them. So, see, aren't those gorgeous? Thank you very much, Hip Flip and Mama, for teaching me how to do this. I don't know if you're still in the the chat, but um, and then there's the necklace to go with it, all crystals. It's very very heavy. But it is very, very gorgeous. And then here's the the centerpiece. Uh, this is gonna start at, at thirty five. I that that's kind of low, but I'll start it at thirty five because I like you guys. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're looking for thirty dollars free shipping on this. We're looking for um, either that or three passes. So let us know what you guys are yep. into. We got a pass from Justin. Yep. This used to be my grandmother's. So God knows how old it is. But I would guess it's probably, I would say, from the, the 70s, maybe the 60s. We got three passes. One, two. Purdy, that's not a pass. <laughs> that's purdy. <laughs> <laughs> and then these to go with it. $35 or one more pass, guys. Yep. Yep, we sell an addict. Yeah, she did put, they did put pass. Yep. Pass, pass, pass. All right. All right. So we're going to go to. NASCAR man. Yep. Hi, right, guys. Okay, so I know he had come on earlier and they went well. I found my bunch from when I was a kid. This is a see through lime yellow pogs. Nice. But I have, it's 55 in here. And there are a ton of slammers. So you got the original Pogs container. What do you want to start them at, Derek? I'm going to do $12 shipped. Okay. 
Okay, I get some of the original slammers. Nice big thick slammer. This is the cool one. Look at this one, Anthony. That's awesome. <laughs> NBA jams, guys. Slammer. Two of my favorite things as a kid. Yep. You got the little alien duck guy. Got some of the other ones. I this are going surfing. Uh, this is cool. These are the metal ones. These are Trinosaurus Rex and dog and uh, animals. So if anybody's into dinosaurs, uh, big, huge white slammer. Another couple of black ones. Yeah, they're pogs, Kathy. Twelve dollars free shipping. He's showing a bunch of slammers right now. Yep, a little spider. A lot of these, a lot of cool slammers. I can't believe it. it was like, look how thick that is. There's a, yep, there it is. Wet. What a slammer. Look at the size of that thing. Awesome. Uh, some little blue ones. Uh, another monster snap. Here we get a, a purple see through. Just slam it. More metal ones. We got three more metal ones, all different. Animals, uh, dinosaurs. Tommy wants to know what a pog is, Derek. What is a pog? It's a piece of cardboard that you put down. It's almost like it's a newer version of, uh, what do you call them? Not pickup sticks, but um, marbles. That's pretty much the way to say it. But you're going to look at it. Now, you, would you ever put an eight ball on a kid's toy now? <laughs> um, this is another cool one. Um, I know. I know you're probably gonna sit there and you're gonna you're gonna cry when you see this one, but uh, it's cracked. No, it's not. Uh, what, what's it say? It says NFL. NFL Slammer. Oh, that's cool. Why would I cry? Well, it's NFL. You know, NFL. <laughs> you love your NFL stuff. All the other ones here, all different. Yeah, it's an original plastic pog, more cardboard, more thick pogs. Twelve dollars um, is a good deal on that. Twelve dealers, the twelve dollars is amazing on these. I mean, I still get the whole stack of these, also. So you got thunder, the football. <laughs> we have one pass. Okay. Either need two more passes or a twelve dollar bid. Anyone want to get us started oh. up on these? Rodeo, baseball. We have two passes. Mm -hmm. One more pass, and we'll move on. Or we can get a twelve dollar bid, and you could own these wonderful pods. For yep. All right, we got our third pass by Just Me, Kathy. So All right, we'll move on to Justin for his next lot. You got it. All right. So he's got some uh, for us. So I have a, a lot of there's 46 pair on the board. Oh, and then I have a bag that's got 20 pairs still on cards. A lot of these, I don't know anything about earrings, but I do know a lot of them are vintage from what my um, mother-in-law told me. Um but there, are, like I said, there's 46 on the board, and there's 20. I have a bag. I have 20 still on the cards in the bag. In a bag, I don't know that all of them are vintage, but these are um ones that 25 shipped, and again they go out in the morning. What, do you, what are we starting these at? You said 20? 25 shipped. 25 free shipping. For how many pair total? There's 46 on there. 46, and then I have a bag that has 20 um, on cards. So 66 altogether. $25. That's a heck of a deal, dude. Just say 65. Just um, But that $25 shipped. All right. So we'll either need... Uh, 
$25 starting bid or we need uh, three passes, that's a heck of a deal, though. Um, I, I knew I know, at I know all. on the bottom, so there could be Sterling here. I didn't. I don't know what to look for until after I made this board, so I wasn't going back. Yeah. But this is what it is. And then let me set this down carefully. And here is a, a bag. Actually, it's got 26 or 26 different um, uh, pairs in here. And they're all pairs. There's no singles. So I put all the singles in a craft jar. So 26 yeah. pair here and 46 pair here. $25 shut. Yeah, it seems like an insane deal to me. I wish I knew something about that is crazy. So we got one pass by Don Bargain Hunter. Um, but, man, if no. I think about jewelry, I'd buy this myself. Come on, Don. You know you want these. That's like 33 cents a pair. And there could be one pair. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know. I don't want to say anything because I don't know. But That's insane. All right, guys, so we're either going to need a, uh, somebody to bid here or we're going to need to pass. So let us know if you want to see the next item. We'll go something else. Uh, I have, if no one else has anything, I've got something I can, I can grab real quick. You guys want them to grab something else or do you want uh, just them to keep showing stuff? Or do you want to keep bidding on this? Uh, I'm good if he wants to keep showing stuff. Um, I I am I made quite a mess over here. <laughs> okay, just me. Kathy said pass. So it's okay, good. I, have, I only have one other thing left. That's all. So okay, go ahead, Derek. All right, guys. Last thing that I'm going to put up is uh, four. What do they call these patterns for Butterick? Well, one's the Butterick. For Halloween costumes, great shape, adults and kids. Uh, cabbage patch clothing from Butterick. You can make your it's an actual cabbage patch clothing for the patterns. You can make clothes for them. Another one, and this one's in French. So that's another one, and another one. Two, so three cabbage patch and one Halloween, eight dollars shipped. You guys are interested. All in right, guys, we're going to start these off at eight dollars free shipping. Uh, if you're interested, please go ahead and start us off at eight dollars. If you're not, uh, we can keep it rolling. If you throw us three passes, um, so those are nice guys. Cabbage patch, we can get those for eight dollars for four of them. Free shipping. They're yep. basically shipping them to you for free at that rate. Pretty much. <laughs> so, anyone want to start us off at $8 for these? It's a pretty cool one. I'm trying to find the data on them, but they're all in English and in, and in French in the back. So, that's why I can't read it. <laughs> so, these are three dollars each. Nineteen eighty-four, guys. Yeah, these are definitely vintage. Plus, that's a wonderful year. That's the year I was born. <laughs> yeah. Not to mention, Michael Jordan was drafted. Right. Oh. Got thirty-three watching. That's awesome. Where is he? Where the fuck? Anybody want to uh, get in on these, or are we going to pass? Dad, you know my mm -hmm. Go ahead and uh, let us know either way. It's perfectly fine if you guys want to pass. Don't feel like you would offend any of us. Just nope. Let us know what you want to do. That's our third pass there, so that's fine. Okie doke. We'll go on to the next item. Okay. Um, looks like Justin got a little flounder going over there. Flounder. Yeah, yeah. I see eighteen too, Justin. I'm not sure. 
Yeah. 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 I wish I was still 33. Yeah, me Misha, too. Uh, I'll beat yourself. <laughs> what? Oh. No, I'm saying for Misha to, to... Okay. So it's just uh, another plush lot of a flounder. Um, if, what do you want to start at? I'm sorry. The, uh, 25 as well. Shoot. Shoot. Okay. Yes. $5, guys. Yeah, it off strong with flounder. It looks like an official well, Disney. Yeah, it nice does. It's got two other tags, but I don't see the Disney tag. But I don't see where it got torn off either. But he's got it's uh, I'm a fan of it's Disney. It's yeah, it's definitely Disney. So, um, there's that one here. Everybody needs this coming up, Rudolph. Sorry. Rudolph tag. Everybody needs it in time for Christmas. Sesame Street. 50 years and counting. Cookie Monster. Everybody needs a soft plush pink one. Um, Wild Republic is the brand. And last but not least is the Lion King. And from what I was told, what I heard, this is from the play. Um, his arms actually move. Um, I said it doesn't. I'm sorry. Yeah. His legs and the arms actually move. Um, and I think it was you, Anthony. Didn't you say he was from uh, the actual play? I don't think I told you, but I, it looks like it would be from the play. Is that Nala or is that Simba? Who is that? I think it's, it, I think it's Simba, but um, sorry. It's a Disney, Disney tag, The Lion King. Somebody told me he was from the play. He was from the, um, yeah, from the play. So I'm, I don't know. But, and they said because the, the, the look, but so that one. It looks familiar. Um, I know my wife just brought home a plush from, like a adult Simba plush from the play, because um, her client just went. And from what I understand, those plush from the play are really expensive. Well, that's what I heard as well. So yeah, yeah. So there's this one, the Wild Republic penguin. That almost looks like the Happy Feet penguin. Is that what that yeah. is? Um. It's kind of the Wild Republic. That'd be like who makes it. But uh, maybe someone in the chat would know. It looks like the penguin from that movie, Happy Feet. Yeah, it does, but I don't, none of the tags, none of the tags say Happy Feet. So I don't know for sure. But of course, the flounder. This one's pretty big. I mean, I got a big head, but this is pretty big. <laughs> the Rudolph tag and. The uh, Cookie Monster. Yeah, those are nice. Um, they want to start us off $25 on these. $25 shipped. And again, they'll go out um, tomorrow morning. So, having plenty of time before Christmas. Who's interested, guys? Nobody. You can um, a few uh, passes. That's perfectly fine, too. Uh, ain't going to hurt my feelings. Yeah, looks like we're starting to unwind anyway. Yeah. Down to about 15 people in here. So I think I'm going to call it for myself for lots tonight. Um, if Derek, oh, looks like Alexis isn't even in here anymore. So um, from the Broadway play, um, just me, Kathy said. Oh, you're welcome, Alexis. I just saw what she said. Thanks for letting me come in. That's perfect. You're perfectly welcome. So does anybody want to get in on this, or do we want to wrap up the auction? Go ahead and throw a couple passes in there, and we can thank you for your time and uh, send you on your way. Uh, if you guys are interested, Nate, every day I'm hustling, is getting ready to fire up a working hangout. So um, 
Nate, if you're still in here, if you could drop the link to that in the chat, I'd really appreciate it. That way we can get some traffic coming your way. Um, I'm sure I'll be popping in there for a little bit to kind of work on invoicing and stuff like that. Yep. Uh, so we got a pass from Don. Uh, right. Why don't we just call it a pass? Because that, that yeah. one probably that's, works a little bit more than 20 That's fine. That's fine. Um, I want to thank everybody that it bought from me. And I will in, I'll start invoicing here directly. And um, uh, and I will get stuff shipped out first thing tomorrow. So, And I appreciate Anthony for having me on and Derek for helping. You got it, guys. Like I said, tomorrow, out there. 2 o'clock my time, easy standard. Come on down for a little bit of Hot Wheels, Diecast, and some other crazy stuff that I'm going to be putting up. We've got about 500 pieces of Hot Wheels that we're going to be letting go. So, yep. And as you see, every day I'm hustling. I just highlighted him in the chat. He's getting ready to fire up a hangout. So go to his channel and make sure you uh, join him for that. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna sign off here, guys. I'm gonna get working on getting your stuff all packed up, and we'll get it shipped out to you ASAP. See y'all. Thank you. See you guys.